Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Kelly Boy. Bitch. All right, y'all. I got something. I got a treat. A lot of people have been asking about my man. We kept missing each other, but I'm here today. I got one for you. Y'all gonna enjoy this one, trust me. Let's get it. What's in your garage? Season four. I'm not gonna uh, skate real quick. What it do, Big Jimmy? Yo, yo. What up, man? Kelly Boot. <laughs> <laughs> you know I had to put what's that up, in there. What's up, homie? What's up, man? Me casa, two in. casa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is it. That's it, man. That's the big Umile. Umile 64, man. Yeah, man, let's check this out real quick. Yeah, for sure. Let's get yeah, into yeah. it. Uh, my car. Shoot, open up the hood for us, man. Let's see what we got going yeah, on. Yeah, you here. know, I never showed Look. my hood. <laughs> I've never showed my hood before because you, you never know what this hood looks like. You know, but shoot, it's, it's cool. Out. It, ain't, it ain't clean because, you yeah, know, yeah. it'd it be you're out there. You you're know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, you, you're a rider. You know, it's, 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 it's early in the morning, so. Yeah, it's, it hey, should be. it's super early in the morning. I forgot to tell you all that. <laughs> it's super early. And California weather is tripping right now, but yeah, we did. Yeah, hey, this weird, huh? Middle of summer. And we just happened to pick this day. So this, you know. This is it right here. I got a 350 block on here. Uh -huh. uh, chromed out everything, but it's just really hard to stay, keep it maintained, you know? Right, this right. Is really a, this is really, I, I won't say my everyday car, but it's out it there. It seems like it's your everyday you know? <laughs> car. It seems like it's your daily driver at this point. <laughs> yeah, man. I got to <laughs> yeah. be switching stuff all in and out. You know, th these cars, man, with the, some always popping. Oh, yeah. If it's not oh, the yeah. generator, it's the alternator. Oh, if yeah. it ain't that, it's a, a brake line. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's, the, that's the main thing about this car. Everybody... You know, people trip out and they say, yo, uh, you know, you really, you really out there hopping the car and shit. I thought it was cleaner. I said, look, man, it was clean when I got it and it's clean when I wash it. <laughs> yeah, right, but when right. I'm out here, it ain't clean. You know what I'm saying? So we be out what, there. What does this one have? How many, how many pumps? How many, how many batteries? Man, this one got four pumps. Um, I'm going to show you the hood. I never, I mean the trunk. Yeah. I've never popped the trunk for everybody, for anybody. <laughs> the uh -huh. trunk or the hood, you know? This is, it's like, <laughs> that's like showing your heart. You right, know what I'm right. Saying? The way oh, I see it. Oh, man. But, okay. Yeah, no wonder she's getting busy. Yeah. You know, but it's always the same thing, too. It's like, I've always got to be switching out the batteries. Mm -hmm. You know, the batteries, man, you know, they, they go bad. But I wish right, they right, always right. stayed blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? That, you know, that, that's for the show. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. If you're really in the streets, you know, you got to keep them like that Pe anyway. You know, I'm, I don't, it's not a show car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's, it's, this this is my street now. car. You know what I'm saying? People say, man, it's a, you got a show car. I had a street car. I said, no, nah, I'm in a show car. It's like those <laughs> beautiful cars that they have at the yeah. shows and they don't normally, you know, they don't bring out and drive. I said, man, I, I like to drive all my cars, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, I didn't buy a car to have a sit. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, and I appreciate and I respect everybody that does that. Mm. And they, they respect their car like that. And they, they only bring it out for shows and stuff. But not me, man. Maybe one day I will, but nah. <laughs> hey, you got enough toys. You don't. You don't need to. Yeah. You know, I, I just got this car redone. Yeah. Um, I have. I have bought it. Uh, my boy. My boy Rick from Left on the Street. Mm. He connected me with That's the, the homie. car. Yeah, man. He. He definitely came through and connected me with the car. And uh, it, it was some other guys. Uh, dude from Birreria Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty. You know, they they have a lot of stuff here going on in L.A. And um, I seen the car at. Serious, man, serious shit. As soon as I seen the car, <laughs> it was like love at first sight. You know, like everybody, everything froze. We went into slow motion. The hearts came in, but blue hearts for sure. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I said, man, I said, I, 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 I sat in it. And I said, this car's for me, man. Mm. And he looked at me and he said, well, I don't think he'll sell it because he just bought it. Yeah. And I said, well, I'll call him. <laughs> and I called him and he said, sale. everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. I said, oh, hell yeah. Right, right, everything can go. But, but honestly, I, I, don't, I would never sell this car. Really? Yeah. This is car, this car is with it me. It does seem like this is your favorite favorite. Out, yeah. of, out of the other stuff I've seen, it seems like this is your favorite favorite. This, but. this is my baby, man. This is, it's like, you know, I, I, I could get in any <laughs> other car and serious shit, I can't, I, I, 
I would hit a switch and I would be driving it. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, I know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like it's like I know when it needs something. I know when it's right. when, when they don't want me to do something. And you know, it's like I feel it. So, you know, it's, it is what it is with this one, man. This right here, my son be loving them G wagons, man. Oh man, them G wagons, huh? Yeah, man. This yeah. right here is clean. Yeah, man. This one, I, I I just picked it up in the pandemic too, and like, I think it was in uh, I ordered it in uh January of 2020, mm. um, because I, I I ordered it my way. I wanted it black with red leather interior. Okay, so you got the red. Yeah. So, Wee. you know, so so when I ordered <laughs> it, it was black with some leather interior, um. And I, I, most of my cars, people that know me, mm. the cars that I have, like like the luxury cars, I always want them to have the, the red leather interior. Mm. Like my Rolls, the Wraith, it yeah. has the red leather interior. Yeah, that's hard, honey. I just ordered a, a Phantom. I should be getting it probably today. I heard today. Yeah, <laughs> I should be getting it today. And it's also <laughs> black with red leather interior. <laughs> yeah. You, you know? can't go wrong with black and red, homie. That's like the crowd's favorite as far as colors, man. man. You know, I tell people, like, you you don't have to walk into the dealer and buy whatever car you want. Yeah, you can order it. You can order it. You can. I, I didn't know that till you know yeah. I started getting a little bit of paper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back in the days we didn't have that choice, dog. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So <laughs> if you wanted a Mercedes, you had to look for the one you could afford and however it came, and yeah. that's what it was, you know. But but now, shoot, I mean, I wanted that red leather interior, you know. She clean, man. She clean. You know, yeah. before I forget, man, I'm gonna have you I'm gonna have you lock this so you don't got a hopper nothing. Just have you lock it up that way the people can see it. I, I took oh, off the high lock up in the back. I ain't going too high on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you cool. There you go. That's oh, yeah, you did, huh? I mean, yeah, you, I, that's how I like them. Well, the reason is because it started messing the hop up, you know, and, and mm. I don't want it, it. Well, not messing it up. It started messing me up. Yeah. Because it was getting up too high. Right, right. So it was just, I was having problems with my neck and my back already. Oh, Cause I don't, I, I hit my door? shit from, oh, no, from the I go inside. Okay. I don't, I can't, I can't hit it from the door. Really? I'll probably get two licks. I see, I'm better from the door and inside I can't get it. Yeah, like, <laughs> like if I, if I try it, I don't think I could get the door, you know? <laughs> you gonna try right now? <laughs> yeah. Hold on real quick. Oh. I don't think. See, I can't, I'm not a door hitter, dog. Yeah. Like, I, 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 can't, I can't hit the door. And people, you know, they, I, I, can, said, I don't know, maybe because I can see a little bit something, the door is, is I can't get it from the inside, right? You know, and for like, all no. you fools talking to me, I, I, I got, you know, <laughs> get your ass, boy. <laughs> no, Have you tried it like that? Maybe you can get it like that. Yeah, I, I did, but uh, that's when I had to hire lock up in the back. Mm. And, and, you know, it was, it, it, it was, it got up there. Okay. But it's just, I, I don't, I think I'm good right now the way it is. Yeah. I still get up. You know, if, if you know, if I gotta put it out, you know, I'll do some stuff in the back. I kinda, kinda cut some things off already right there, not to get my lock up too high, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'll get it back up and going, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'll get it back up and going, but I, I'm comfortable right now. Yeah. This is, it already goes high as hell, you know? So I'm good right now, I'm good. I know, I know. Well, shoot, man, let's go check out the other toys, yeah, let's man. Let's go, man. Let's go. Keep it moving. Cause yeah, we got go. a lot, hey y'all, we got a lot to show y'all today. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll walk over Keep here to moving. the back. Yeah, man, you got to show that shirt that Topo gave me, yeah, man. I see that. You know, Topo came through with the shirt. Uh, for my birthday, he gave me a design, so. Oh, let me show him the inside of this. Open up the back door for me if you can, man. Yeah. I always trip out on these. Show everybody a little bit of everything. See that? That's it. This is my daughter's whip. Really? Yeah, I gave it to her for her 18th birthday, man. Uh, hey, you got the you could tell, look, white you, interior you could tell they're whipped though, look. Bro. See the tire? Oh, I see that. <laughs> I see that. <now. laughs> yeah, you could tell they're whipped. These cars are bad, man, but this man. right here is a, this is a straight trip. You you know what, man? It's a comfortable ride. It's, I, that, it's that white interior, though, that to me, it doesn't do it, you know? Yeah, yeah. She liked it. That's, but to me, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm good with that. You How know, you it's just. from right here? Right here. Okay. Oh, it yes. folds too, huh? Yeah. I didn't know. I see, I thought it, I thought it, it came up. Oh, and okay. this is all glass. You know, you asked me earlier. I, you know, it's all glass all the way up here. Yeah, the front windshield. That's, That's crazy. Concerned. <laughs> what I said, somebody told me, they ain't got no forehead, they got a fire head. <laughs> yeah, man. All uh, right, let's get to it, brother. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Man, you know, I got the, I got the, this is a family car. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? This is the, <laughs> this is the family car right here, man, you know? The roads. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, got the, got the 4Gs. 24s on it, got the floating cap. 
You got the little orange and black interior, Ooh, you know? Oh, nah, this ain't little, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> and this ain't little. <laughs> yeah, this is the black badge edition, man. This is, uh, you know, I, I had to fight it. You know, a couple of people tried to snatch it from me from the dealer, man. I, had, I was fighting with one of the Kardashians for it, you know what I'm saying? Really? I, yeah, really? I was like, watch out. That's my car. <laughs> So, like you know, car, yeah, my, my, my boy Robert over there at Ogara, man, be making it happen. So, uh, we got that one there. And this is the black badge. It's only, a, I, don't know about that. I think it's only a couple of these in the U.S. It ain't mm. too many black badges, you know, so everything's blacked out. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of, you know, I, at first I was like, I don't know if to really do that black, black, black badge because I like yeah. the chrome, you know, but when I went and actually oh, seen it, yeah, yeah, it's nice, dude. This is, yeah, this, my girl <laughs> wanted to put rhinestones on there. I said, like, oh, we ain't doing that shit. Come on, you crazy. <laughs> and man, you know my ass. I was like, well, what, what if we put diamonds on it? <laughs> yeah, man. Up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, man. Let's get through here. Heck yeah, man. Shoot, so. See what we got going on over here. Oh, we got it. Oh. It's clean up here. Oh, shit. Oh, what's up with these dogs? Yeah, there's a real security right here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hey, Bruno, you Sasha. See, see? Hey, homie, Look at it. He ready. He ready, look. Get him, boy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we good, man. We got so the pool, you know. Real quick, man. We got a little safety from him. We knew they you know? dogs. We just playing. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Show you over here, man. This is, this is, I'm going to show you the playground. I'm going to show you the dog's playground. <laughs> we we supposedly got it for us, you know, but... This is a Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Give it to me. Bring it. They got it from Silver. Oh, yeah, there. Let me see it, Sasha. Out, out. No, wait. Yeah, this nice. is. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is where they at. <laughs> Bad boys over here look like Panthers. Look. Meanwhile, this dog over here going off. <laughs> that dog got hot, yo. <laughs> Max, what's wrong with you? <laughs> ah, out, out, out. Sasha, out. But come on, man. I, I took some. I took most of the cars out of here. Already. Come on in, man. Let's get it. We took most of the cars out from here Ooh. already. I only got a couple, but back then, there was low riders all the way to the, I bet. and like, there was eight of them in the, the front. Them, yeah. Man, you crazy, man, it was crazy, man. <laughs> my, my family was tripping. You know, they were out here tripping, man. And uh, I got a couple, I got a couple, uh, couple I, kept, I, kept, I kept my, my favorites here yeah, at home. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, wow. and I took everything else to the, to the warehouse, but um, I ended up keeping, you know, my favorite ones here. So this one here, this one is, a, this is, I'm, we're the second owners to this car. Man, we no, ended I up, love me a 61. Man, we ended up, my boy Rick helped me with this one too. And uh, he called me and he said, yo, he said, I remember you told me you wanted to pick up a 61. Mm. I was like, yeah, mm. just excuse me that it's dirty, man. We just got caught nah, with man, some rain. You know what I'm saying? And hey, who wasn't living like you? Yeah. You right <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, man. And uh, we ended up picking this one back up. Uh, we ended up picking this one up, but it was a trip because we got it with the little registrations, the little pink ones. Yeah. And uh, I, I think there's some in here. No, nah, no, nah, I think we took them out. Yeah, we took them out. Mm. And um, we 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 out here uh, we out here really riding, man. We yeah, bring them man. out. You know, it's. The, the man's dream was to have his car still be riding. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, you drive yourself, so. and and I said, man, you know, definitely we'll do that. And uh, we're the second owners, man. It's a beautiful car. So many people have tried to buy this car for me. They're I like, bet. man. I said, no, it ain't for sale, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, they, I'm good. Yeah, I got a really good price on it, too. <laughs> so I'm good, though, man. Okay. I'm good. Shoot, man, tell us about this tray. You know, this, is, this tray came out from, uh, from Texas. Uh -huh. This is at Katrin. Mm. You know, it was pretty famous out there in Texas. But you know I, I picked it up and did a whole switcheroo on it. You know me, man. Mm. So I did 12 batteries on it. Uh, I added a few extra pumps. Well, I added all the four pumps because it only it had it had a long ass pump. It had a single pump, mm. and the trunk was really nice. I left this on here because this is like the yeah. like the 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 design that the car had with right, went with the paint. That. But 
I try to keep it a little bit, I try to keep it, you know, a little bit cool. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like still how the way it was and stuff. Yeah. I left the paint. I took off, if, you, if people really know about this car, I it had everything engraved. Yeah. Exactly. Bumpers, it had the side moldings, it had all the undercarriage. Everything was engraved in this car. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the engraving was a little older already. Yeah. So you know how that gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it started chipping and it started doing different things. So I just, you know, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of seen the, the, the chrome on it. Right. You know, and I, I and I chrome. just, I chromed out everything. I left, I left everything in there chrome and, and man, just kept it. In. It has an LS. Interior is hard as hell. I like that. The you know? Four seats with the center console. Yeah. yeah. I left a couple of things engraved, not too much. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. It all lights man. up in there and. Tilt, everything, man. Yeah, it's it nice. It has, has a tilt on it, uh, has an LS on it. Uh huh. So, I mean, I feel weird driving this car, though. Why? Because when I get in a lowrider, I want to get in a lowrider. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to get in a lowrider. I don't really want to get into a. If I, like I tell people, look, I respect people that have LS. Mm -hmm. I, I, I show much love to them and I respect yeah. them dearly. But when I get in the low rider, I want to feel that. I want to feel that 350, man. Okay. You know so what I'm saying? I, I, I want to feel that. I asked questions early, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Okay. You know, yeah. me, I, I'm an LS guy. I don't just slap yeah. the LS up. But you. I mean, it, it, it rides uh -huh. smooth, yeah, yeah. but it's just too smooth for me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If I want to do that, I might like well just. Tesla, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather get in a Tesla. You know, but this car here, man. And I didn't even know you even had this one. I built this one with uh with my boy Lowrider G. Okay. So you know, everybody always said, "Oh, you buy them cars already built." Well, nah, we built this one. Okay. Uh, this one was done uh Great. my way and hit you know piston? between me and him. Yeah. Uh, threw a piston in there. Uh, that's really this one has a really high lockup. Yeah. I I, it has a really high lockup. Um. I, the color on it is kind of like a. I don't. I, I don't really know what color it is because we. He kind of invented the color. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's probably other colors out there like that too, but he kind of mixed it, mixed in some colors, and he said, "Man, I want to give you an exclusive color that really nobody got." And we went with this, you know. So it's like it's, it's a really nice car. It really is. It's a really nice car, man. This one, I'll show you the hood. <clears throat> Okay. You know, I got my I got my 350 block in there. It's, it's I got like I said, man, I got nothing against with people that can drive that LS, but yeah. I just want to feel that. You know, I don't right. I don't I don't. And then when you driving these type of cars, I mean, you can't go over 50, yeah, 60. Yeah. I mean, I'll go 55, 60 yeah. on the freeway, but I mean, you ain't gonna go 80, 100. And right. I think if you don't put in LS, man, drop it in the man, I'll drop it in the you know Monte Carlo or yeah, something. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Support if I would, or either a car yeah. that I wouldn't have cut. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I would do that. But even still, though, yeah. like, you know, even I see a lot of. Get a freeway and dip, though. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. We built this one, man. This this was a three month build. Frame off, everything. Three months. Really? Yeah, it was a three month build. Have you had this? Lock this one up. I want to check this one out. Yeah. I mean, did you, you'll, yeah. you know, now that, that I'm driving, when we drive it, it's, but it's like that in every car. We'll find out little things, you know, maybe so this, just, get, you know, yeah, this yeah. getting just didn't get, but the engine's good now. The most important thing is always make sure the whole differential, the whole bottom, you're good because you don't want them flying out, you right. know, and also the engine. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and the rest of interior that. and stuff like that, that, that'll come with it, yeah. you know? We'll take but, it we do it anyway. but this was, we did it in three months, man. It was an idea we had. We were going to do it in a month. Yeah. We were going to go all crazy, Shoot film it. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, number, no. it was cool because he got, we, we, we got everything. He, he was already getting everything done for another car. Mm. And then uh, I guess he had a problem with the customer where he didn't want the stuff. So he surprised me. I, I, I wasn't into engraving too much. And then he surprised me with all this. And I was like, oh, man, I said, it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I said, it looks beautiful, man. I mean, it, it went with the color of the car, yeah, you know? Yes. So everybody was possibly. like, you should have done everything gold. I said, nah, you got to do it. It's little always too. like, if someone's always like, do this, it over shoot, send the money in. <laughs> I'm like, man, you want to come build it? <laughs> hey, send the money in. <laughs> yeah, but this is, and then he started doing a little bit of silver leafing on it. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of a lot. Got his name on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Low Rider G, man. Yeah, I like the color, man. You know, we're still, we're still adjusting it. Yeah. We're still doing a couple of things, but this one, this one has this thing too, man, you know? Oh, she ready. Oh, it has juice. <laughs> Oh here. You look. There she go. Ooh. 
a little three wheel action. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. we, we, we were messing with the switches and they're reversed right now, so we gotta ah. fix that. <laughs> so, you know, this was a complete frame off, man. Like Complete it, man. frame off in three months. Straight molded, wrap frame, everything. everything. Everything, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this baby ready to go. It's ready for the streets. Everybody's like, you gonna pick this one over the other one? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't gonna be your new favorite. I said nope. <laughs> hey, that chip is sweet. I like that. Yeah, like we this. we just got those chips. I like that. This is sexy, man. Yeah, I yeah, give yeah. It to you, man. That's dope. Like I said, you know, I, I never seen this one. Yeah, but it's I pretty don't know cool, why. man. Hey, you over here building it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still ain't done. You know, it has a little. Couple little, little, little nits and natches, you know? But it'll get done. I have a high as lock, man. Damn, she up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we got that going. Cali Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a trip. Tell about these toys over here, man. Oh, man, everybody knows this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Casa I, I 64, man. You know, yeah. this, this, this. This is immaculate built, man. That's another one of your babies too, though. Yeah, this one, you know, I've been talking to him and he's going to change the rear end. And I said, man, you can come check it out. Um, he was happy to see it, you know, on the streets because it wasn't a street car. Right, you right, You know, it was right. a show car. Yeah, straight so, car. But like I said, I, I drive everything, man. Right. You know, but this is one of my babies. I kept all my babies here at my house. <laughs> you know, my, the, the ones that I that I really appreciate having, yeah. you know. I, I appreciate having all of them, but right, right, these are like my... Yeah, the ones that you got to keep close. Yeah, these are I my puppies. Like I see this nine. Rag nine. Yeah, this this came from Cali Boker right here. <laughs> Shit, well, a lot of them came from Cali Boker, you know? Kathleen no. came from Cali Broker. This one came from Cali Broker. Uh, I got a few other ones at the, uh -huh. at the warehouse. You know, Casas? Yeah. yeah, Casas came from Cali Broker. When I seen it, I couldn't believe it was for sale. Yeah, it was for real, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. It's for sale? And um, I called dude, and he was like, yeah. You know, I'm going something different. And I said, all right, cool. And um, I got lucky. I, I got I got I got 100% lucky on it, man. It's just the car was it's so beautiful, man. Yeah. This car is amazing. Even oh, pop. Yeah, he really did his thing. And, and even when I threw it out in the streets, I thought I was gonna have a lot of problems with it because he said, you know, they told. Well, well he I, I didn't know him for, at first, and then yeah. they took they said that he wouldn't really bring it out too much. Yeah. So I had to redo the mufflers. I had to do a couple of the things that weren't street ready. But when I got it out there, man, people were there. actually happy to see this yeah. car in the streets, yeah, man. Yeah, it was out there. Yeah. But you know, it, it comes out on special occasions. I see it. it yeah, it comes out on special occasions. When you, whenever you pull out your whole fleet. You know yeah, you saying? know, we do that. <laughs> and then, you know, this is my baby right here. Hey, I like this. This is my 454, man. This is my, this, this is, I've, I've had this one before I started doing cool. I you like know, this, this was, this was like my, I, I really appreciate this truck and I have a lot of love for it because I bought this truck and, and I spend all my earnings on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. all, my, all my savings on it. Uh, I had my little money saved and either I was going to buy a new car mm. or I was going to buy my 454. Yeah. And I, I always wanted a 90. And it was it's all original. Everything's original. But I did. I redid the whole. I did the differential. I did the whole rear end. I did. Uh, I redid everything through the billet wheels on there. OK, so you did all and, that. Yeah, I did do that. So it was stock when you got it. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was 100 percent stock. And I don't regret it because all I got to do is, you know, just put my put the, put the tires back on there and we good. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, it's man, not they, they love like this, so you're good. I mean, yeah, it's not a negative. Well, but if you, you see these this, mirrors at it. they come with these mirrors, you know. I Dude, mirrors so look, so when when I when I bought the truck, it, it had a couple of things that were off. So this is crazy right here. The story, the side the the side moldings, the mirrors, the grill, mm -hmm. and the brum, the front and the back bumper, they weren't cool. They were all, they 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 were dent they were dented. They had a lot of scratches on it. But the truck was perfect, right? So I told my brother-in-law, I said, you know what? I want to paint the truck, but I want to do the original paint. So we went to the dealer, got the original paint, and we repainted the truck. So when we repainted the truck, it had a lot of old stuff, right? Right. And my other boy that helped me fix a couple of things in the interior, uh, he called me and he said, yo, there's this man that has the original wheels. He has the original bumpers, original... A, a older a older dude that had him in his garage since 1990 Ooh. and I said what so we ended up buying a whole lot of things that we didn't even need you know so he had to hold you know because back in the days he flipped it he right, he put right. he made it a he made it a street ride you know mm. a street ride truck so that stuff off. so he took everything yeah. off you know he uh he uh he shaved the, the bumpers 
uh, front and back, and he did the other the other bigger mirrors, and he did different things. But if you see it, this is the original interior. That's the original interior from the truck. Man, super nice too. Yeah. You know, it's still got that smell too from the original too. Yeah, it, it's the original That's interior. Crazy. You know, I just put a little alpine in there, and then and then uh, I did do this right here. So what they did is they took they they took the interior off. Mm -hmm. um, and they and he added the 454 SS on the on the head on the original interior. Got you, and man. then I told him, you know, st stitch a little bit of the new parts that were, you know, that weren't good. But mm. it just got a little bit of new stitching. But the interior and the carpet, everything is the original one. Everything is real cool. Headliner and everything. Yeah. That's what was crazy, like the headliner. And then I added the, the split window on the back. Yeah, really you know, no, so anybody wanna go back to the original. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. That's easy stuff. What size around here? Twenty fours. Twenty fours, okay. Yeah, man, some twenty fours. What size are we in the back? Twenty four fifteen? Yeah, uh, I think th they by yeah by 15s, 15. 24 by 15s. That's sexy, man. Yeah. I remember we were supposed to ride together when I had when I had my, my truck. <laughs> you know, but I ended up selling that van, but you know how I do. Man, this is my baby <laughs> right here, bro. I, yeah, yeah. This is my baby. This is this is this is it. This is the one people want to see all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy because they're yeah. like, hey, where, where's your 454? Oh, you know, the trucks is just as big as the, the, the long. Oh yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You got like the big dog, the 454. This is where it's at. Yeah. This baby came from me. It lived in the hood with me. Really? And it came, yeah, so it deserves it. This, this <laughs> one came from the hood. You know, it was a, it was in my backyard. Yeah, it was in my backyard for a good year. I didn't have no money to like really put into it, you know, so right. I'll drive it here and there. But when I bring it out, everybody always wanted to buy it. Yeah. I paid six thousand dollars for it. Six thousand. That's back in the day prices. No yeah, that today. back in the days. <laughs> we talking about 2005, maybe 2007. That's when I bought it. And, uh, you know, I just started putting in a little bit of work here and there. And we, we back at it. Tell us about these bad boys right here. I see you got another 59 rag. This is my, I got four 59 rags. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Let me have one. What? Man, you know, I'm going to give, give you an exclusive, <laughs> though. I'm building a 59 rag. I'm building it straight frame off. So is this going to be a fifth or, or one, of, one of the four? Uh, 59 rags. Those are 50, the 59 rag? Uh, what do you mean? Because you say you got four of them. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, um, no, that, that's actually the fourth. Okay. It's, it's like actually the four. I'm like, the fifth or four? I'm like, what do you mean? It's a 59. <laughs> you don't know what I sound like, I think. Uh, no, so uh, it's the fourth one. Okay. I just picked it up probably about four months ago. Okay. And um, it, it was cool. The, the guy, the guy re, uh, he uh, restored the car probably about six years ago. Yeah. But, I, you know, it was, it was cool. I just didn't like the colors. Right. Oh, so so uh, it wasn't cut, nothing. I'm cutting it. I'm doing a whole lot of things to it. Mm. Uh, I think it's going to be a, <laughs> a pretty clean. It doesn't have an LS. Oh, I'm letting y'all know it doesn't have an LS. It's got a jet motor. <laughs> <laughs> a Rolls Royce one too. <laughs> no, oh man, that that car, that car is gonna be, it's gonna be something else. I'm building a '57 right now. Okay. With Padilla Customs, what? and that car, I'm gonna tell you one thing, Cali. I, I think that's the car you gotta put on your page when I get done with it. Oh shit. Because I do swear it. to you, I swear to you, if there's another '57 like that, I'll give that one away. <laughs> I swear to God, if there's another 57, like the one I'm building, I'll give it away. Damn. And then you can put that here. But that car, <laughs> I'm doing some, it's like a, it's, a, it's like a Rose, to, it's like a Rose, it's like a Mercedes, it's like a 57, Damn. and it's like a hot rod, and it's like my 64 put together. That sounds confusing, but I think I see it. It's, 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 it's <laughs> when, when I told the guy that's building it, my boy Padilla out there in a, up north in Northern Cali, yeah. I told him, yo, I want to do this to this car. And he said, what? I said, can you do it or not? And he's like, yeah, I can do anything. Yeah. So he called me and he, and, 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 and he came over here and he, um, uh, he had to come over here and, and measure some things on my rolls yeah. to, to do it on that one. Oh. So just to tell you, and he had to come get some modifications off the Rolls Royce to do it on that one. So there's a lot of things that I'm doing to that 57, man. And the paint is crazy. Damn, the paint I is, can't wait to see it. Yeah, the paint. And I'm telling you, <laughs> everything on that motherfucker is, is rose gold. Damn. And you know Speedy got down on it. You know, I, <laughs> you know Speedy got down Shout on it, Speedy. man. <laughs> you know, Speedy's my boy, man. I'll yeah, call him and he'll make know. it happen. But it, when I told him I want everything rose on it, he said, for real? I said, everything. I don't want not one screw not to be rose gold. Damn. So everything, everything is rose gold. Mm. Everything. From the screws to whatever you could think of, and it's it's kind of crazy the color I put on it. I can't tell you the color, cause then <laughs> I was you know. Hope you was. You yeah. <laughs> so the color code. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a pastel color. Hey, okay. It's a pastel. It's a really nice color. I really I like the nice. color. Yeah. Um, cut it's crazy. Yeah, it's okay. gonna be. Oh, it's cut. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it got it. Got 16 <laughs> batteries. 
Wait, what? <laughs> I got 60 back. <laughs> <laughs> they got 60 okay, batteries. Okay, yeah, I think everybody's gonna be ready to see this bad And boy. that one Ooh. might, that one might have an LS, cause he wants to put an LS in it. So I'm like arguing with him back and forth see, right now. Else you don't do, you might as well. well, he's saying he's saying this one's still modified to be like a newer car. So I think you might want to put an LS yeah. in it. I said, all right, I think about it. So I'm really thinking about it. Maybe right do now. like you know like LS would make it look like it's an old three. Yeah, actually, yeah, because you can put Dude, the carbon. Dude, well, that that's yeah. actually what what he's he's selling me on, right? Now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, selling yeah, me all yeah, these yeah, engines yeah, that look yeah, like old blogs. I said, but nah, I don't know. Road I said, but it's road. not. It ain't a 350. Yeah, I said yeah. that's an LS, you know. So, I mean, I'm I'm going through that, okay. and and we we got it coming. So I got a 59 and a 57 coming, man. Damn, I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. I see this right here sitting there. And I, obviously, that must mean something to you. That's 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 the king. That's the king of all cars right there, man. That was my dad's car. Okay. See, yeah. I knew it. Yeah, that was my. That's a '95 Deville, uh, four door. I bought this car for him, cause when you know when I was a youngster, he always had Cadillacs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad always had a Cadillac. You know, it was, it was. It, he had an El Dorado. He had a couple of Devilles. He had a Coupe Deville. He had a. Uh, I had a few, uh, you know, a few Cadillacs, mm. and um, back in the days, I didn't have a driver's license. I had a suspended driver's license, so he had a. It was a '87 Deville four door, mm. the shorter body ones, and um, I got pulled over and lost the car. And uh, that was when you remember that law came in that it was a thousand bucks to get your car out. Yeah. Remember, if you got impounded, yeah. it was a thousand bucks to get it. So I didn't have that money, man. My dad didn't have it, so we let it go. But I promised him. I said, "Dude, I'm gonna buy you a car one day. You know, I'm gonna replace it." And uh, luckily, man, uh, this was another friend of mine, and, and he had it there at his house, and it was really clean. It's a really clean car, man. Original interior, original everything. And um, and I said, yo, sell me that car. And he's like, yeah, I'll sell it to you. I told him what it was for. Yeah. And uh, I said, I'm going to give it to my dad. I got home, gave it to my dad. My dad didn't want it. He was like, no, you keep it. You need a car. I was like, no, I don't need a car. It's your car. Yeah. So I got it for him, man, and he used it till the day he died, man. You Dang. know, till the day he passed. and. Dog. I haven't, I have the trunk and all the other all stuff inside of the car is just like he left it. I haven't moved, not even a napkin. I haven't moved anything. Yeah. So, you know, I have yeah, it just like how he left it is right here, man. I feel it. I can tell. I said, this is, look, it's up at the top. It's in the garage. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I already knew that right there meant something too. And then that's my wife's 59. Okay. You know, so she, she don't let nobody touch it. She's a harder <laughs> than me. Nah. <laughs> What's up? Uh, man, I did, I did the trunk red right on it. My sister was hard. No, <laughs> This is this. I got lucky on this one too. This was one. This was a one owner fifty nine. Okay. So it was sold at Barrett Jackson. Oh, so it was it was a lady's to the day she passed away too. Yeah. She had it since she was a teenager all the way till she passed, and um, and I, I I've been looking at the story from it. I, when I seen the car, I seen the car that they had it at the Long Beach Swami. Yeah. I went and checked it out. We didn't close the deal there, and uh, dude went back to San Diego, uh-huh. and then we closed the deal, and then he came back out. But the car, you know, he did a couple of little things to it. Uh-huh. I added the, I added the skirts and I added the, the Continental on yeah. it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then, uh, but every everything else, I haven't touched it. You know, it, the interior is the same. Uh, I think he said that he painted the dash because it had that rubber dash. Okay. You yeah, know, it had like the rubber. On it. Yeah. 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 So he he did all that. Okay. And to everybody that gives me stuff, man, I keep I do put it up. You know, yeah. all these everything you see right here, this is all gifts from people. Yeah. So I keep it, man. So if you give me something out there, hats, you know, shirts, whatever, I keep everything, man. Yeah, I don't throw anything away. So it. whatever y'all give me, or if not, they like that too. You go to his spot, you got all the stuff people give him. I know, it's crazy, that huh? It's hard, huh? Like that. I was like, who did this? <laughs> man, I don't know, some dude out there. Who did that one? Some dude in Amsterdam. Who did that one? Oh, that shit came from Japan. Yeah. I was like, man, that's cool. So you know, it kind of like inspired me too, man. So yeah. actually, the, the the place where I'm gonna take you right after this, uh-huh. I got inspired by after I went to his place. Really? Yeah, his yeah, because he has a. He had the Snoop compound, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I said, man, I need me this one of these. Hard, I said, I need me one of these. So, <laughs> so you know, Snoop, man, you, you definitely inspired me to say, he knows that too. He knows that. <laughs> Shit, you know, he's, he knows that. I got a couple cards from him right now, man. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, boy, hey, y'all two, y'all be fighting over who be buying all them. Yeah, I, Cali I be getting them, you know? <laughs> yeah, he called me in the Nomad, because I, I put him on Nomad. I was like, dude, yeah. you know, I said, you need to get this Nomad. Mm-hmm. I, I, and he seen mine, he was like, yo. And he started getting into him, and he was like, yep. So we got one right now that we fixing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I don't fix cars. I know you do. I don't do that. But, you know, that's my boy. I said, yeah, I'll help you with the people I know. Yeah. You know, and, and we, I'm doing that. But I don't fix no cars, so I, don't call me. I don't. <laughs> don't call um, that Cali boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, tell us about this right here, yeah, man. Shit, you know I ain't got to tell you about this. Shoot. You know, this is, this is another one I got lucky with. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Albert put me on game with this one from Elite. Mm -hmm. And this car is beautiful. It won first place at the Arizona show. Yeah. You know, and and this car is just, man. But it stayed, this is the first time it ever, like, really, I think touch it's the weather. first time it ever touched weather. You know what I'm saying? But we in Cali. We didn't expect this, man. You know, so... We left it. We left it outside last night. We I knew you was coming, so yeah. I kind of started bringing out a couple of the cars so I could show you. But this is this car is something else right here. Mm. Man. This car is inside is out. I, I didn't know it had t-tops. Yeah, it time. got t-tops. It's that definitely got nice. t-tops. Interior on it, and, and also I drive it. It hit the streets, man. You know, it it, 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 it hit the streets. I know it was always a show car. Yeah. You know, but. Man, show car deserves to hit the streets yeah, too, yeah. you know. So you did him and put him in, yeah. the, put him in the streets, man. I like this. So we got a lot of little dings in there, but you know they rocks. Okay. You know that's what happens when they out there, man. So uh -huh. really nice car, man. She's still clean. Yeah. Got and a little weather on it, but she's still clean. Yeah, eighty-seven T-top, mm -hmm. and this this car, man. When I bring this one out, man, people go crazy on this yeah, car. You know, this is big time right there. LS with the, with all the trims. Yeah. yeah. They love these, right? Yeah, now. man. People, ooh, when I bring this one out, man, people. How much you want for it, man? Yeah. It ain't for sale. But if you got the right money, it might be. <laughs> you, you know, you know what? Uh, when we put it, I, you know, I put this one on your page. Yeah, I remember. And yeah, I didn't I sell it. Crazy. I didn't yeah. want to sell it. Yeah. People came, and they still offering. Yeah. I think you gotta take it down. I think it might still be in there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but people still call, and, and they, hey, how much you want for it? And dude, honestly, like, I tell you straight up, some dude offered me seventy-five for it. Yeah. I didn't take it. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, I'll give you seventy-five. A lot of guys from like back in the day and and and, uh, and Impala only guys they, they don't get it but the G bodies is in G, you got the best of all worlds trucks yeah. G bodies Impalas yeah man we doing it yeah this man is, this when, is you know when I picked this car up dude it was it was uh you know I started doing my research on Albert mm -hmm. you know and the whole family over there and they got a big history man big history and and to me to own a car from them man it means something you know it's like it's like see that's yeah. what a lot of people don't get that that when when I buy something or I, I like to do my history on it. Mm. And I wanted to have a meaning. Right. I wanted to have a story. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to tell the story a bit. And you know, when I talked to Albert about this one, I seen him in Bellflower. I seen this car just like the '64. I seen him <laughs> passing by, and I told my boy, I said, "Go, go see if we could go see that car." <laughs> and I just wanted to, I wanted to see it. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to take a look at it. Right. And we we walked across the street to the gasoline station, and he said, "Oh yeah, man, it's my boys. You know, I built it for him, and and I just got it back or something like that." Yeah. And I said, well, let me know if you ever want to get rid of it. And he was like, all right. And we kept, we kept, you know, we kept in touch. Uh, I was going to, I was going to bring him a car. He was going to do a car for me, but you know, uh, COVID hit and all that stuff. And, and, but when I ended up getting the car from him, he told me the story. And then I found out the story of him. I said, man, I ain't never selling this car. Mm. You know, I got to keep it, man. These mm. stories got to stay in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you're taking care of it, man. I see that, you know, it's got the spot over there for it and everything, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've, we got all the little spots there for all the cars. What's up over there behind the glass? Man? Oh, you don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you to my hidden, my hidden cave. Man, so tell me, tell me what's going on in here. Man, these are, you know, uh, a lot of people are like, you know, I'm a, a, you know it's like I, I got this tattoo um, before I even bought the Harley. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I kind of manifested, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's yeah, like yeah. I've always rode uh, street bikes. And then my best friend, my cousin, he passed away in a, in a motorcycle accident. Oh, man. And I had an R1, and you know I had a Jigsaw as well. But That's I had, I had, a, yeah, I had to get rid of it, man. You know, it's like, I, I, I think I did get back on it. I wasn't comfortable no more, but I love riding. Right, right, right. You know, it's, it's being out there in the streets, catching that wind, it's a whole different life, yeah. you know. But you know, it's like street bikes. I get on it. I want to pop a wheelie. I want to do this. I want to do that. So I got, ah, I was like, ah, I'm gonna get on something. I can't pop a wheelie. <laughs> But I think I can. <laughs> hey, no, I've seen some boys get, I mean, you know, minus, yeah. minus the back fan, but yeah, like this, yeah, they get down. Yeah, man, and um, I, got, I, I picked up my first one. I picked up a, a Deluxe. Uh -huh. uh, I got lucky on that car, on that bike too, man. I picked up a Deluxe on a real good deal. And then I decided to buy me a bike. So, you know, after all this, when the pandemic was in, man, you know, it was crazy. People didn't want to be around each other. Yeah, so yeah, I said, yeah. man, I'm going to give me a bike. Yeah. So it was my Solo. chance. Yeah. So it was my chance opportunity to get me back on a bike. I stopped riding for about a good three years. And then uh, I got me a bike again. I got this one. Uh, this was uh, the official Servin Vega uh, tour bike. Oh, okay. So uh, it ain't no more because I took all right, the Servin right, Vegas right. out. But this was the official Servin Vega uh, a bike that was on tour mm -hmm. on um, 
I, uh, there weren't a lot of shows, man. But you know, this this was all over. This this hit all over the U.S. I think it even went to Japan mm. and a couple other countries because the beat on it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was all done yeah, by Seven man, Vega. But yeah, I had to switch it up because I wanted a different. You know, yeah. I had to add some more bass. So we put the bass in here okay. and uh, changed the speakers on there, did some mids, some little tweeters in the front, uh, did the radio, changed the radio out on it, you know, put a newer radio and stuff. But we ended up getting this. This is a badass bike, though. Yeah, it is, man. I didn't yeah. even know that you rode until right now. Oh, yeah, I ride. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've watched other videos. I, I ride horses bikes. and bikes. Really? Yeah, you see the saddles right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, see that engraved, too. Yeah. <laughs> see, I start, I've been engraving for a while, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I kept them. I, I actually had sold my horses, and then I just picked up two other horses not that long ago. Mm. Yeah, but but this 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 bad boy over here. Yeah, is I like too. that right there too, man. Yeah, it's all engraved. Uh -huh. It's about eighty percent engraved. Uh, still needs a little bit more, but we be out there, man. You know, I, I ride out there. My, uh, my my homegirl Lydia and her and her husband. You know, I, I ride with them, and then I see a couple baggers out there. You know, they 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 always hitting me up. Let's go riding, and I've been out a few times. Yeah, but honestly, it's like I I'm. I'm I'd rather low ride, you know? Right. But when I want to catch some wind, I'll be out there. It was, it was crazy getting back on the freeway on a bike. I bet. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were, it was, it, after about my first, my first ride back on, because I told her, I said, I haven't, I haven't rode a bike for about, for about a good three to four years. Right. So I was like, man, you know, it's like, and then this one is a little heavier. You, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I got back on, and you know, they were going about 60 and I was like, <laughs> so I just took off <laughs> and they followed me. They were like, man, we were being cautious with you. I was like, man, I was burning rubber, pinning out. I can see that. You know? like, oh, we're going to ride. We're going to chill. Yeah. So, they, you know, I said, no, man, don't try. I ain't no rookie. I just haven't rode in a bit, you know? What size front wheels on this one? This is a uh, 21. 21? Okay. Yeah, they both have 21s in the front. Okay. Yeah, I don't. everybody's doing them 30s. Yeah, I don't know, man. Kid. I can't but I heard do it. they ride like crap, so. Yeah, I can't. Oh, okay. My boy JB, my business partner, he got one. He got 30s. one with uh, with some 30s on it. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, dude, you crazy. I said, I can't do that. Mm. I can't do that. No, you know what? This is a 24. My bad. 24 and a 21. Okay. okay my bad. Okay. My bad. My bad. No, so I, I remember uh, we added the 24 on this one, and then uh, it had a 26. I had a 26, but that was too big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too big. To, for me, yeah, it was still too big. So right. I, did, I went with the 24, mm. and I was able it's to get the... Massive. Yeah, I was able to get the same rim too. Like it was crazy. Okay. Like I just googled it and it came up. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. So Google, you, you'll find Cali Broker on Google. Hey, hey, all day. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Anybody ever try to buy these off of you? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Some dude offered me some money on this one, mm. and I said, Nah, it ain't for sale, man. I said, uh, You know, got some nice work to it. Has a little, you know, silver leafing on it. Yeah. I'm doing some more stuff on here. I'm gonna add some more silver leafing right here. Right, right. In the back, and um, this this bike came from Florida. Yeah, this bike came from Florida. Getting it from afar. Yeah, it came from Florida. Uh, my boy out there, uh, when I seen it, uh, it w he was already, you know, it, it had a lot of stuff engraved. But when I got it over here, I did more stuff. Right. So uh, I was able to find a dude that did it, and um, what? Well, I found him. He told me about him, and I found him. But I haven't. I wasn't able to communicate with him. And then one of my boys was like, "Yo, I know this other guy that that could probably match the engraving," and he did. He, it, like, if you can't even tell. Like, the yeah, parts yeah. that I did on it, you can't even tell there. You know, it's... Yeah, it all looks like one person. Yeah. Yeah, so, it has two different people worked on it, but it's a beautiful bike, man. Beautiful pad, too, by the way, man. Thank you. you that, man. Mi casa, tu casa. Hey, I love you, huh? All right, man. Well, shoot. Let's, uh, let's go check out this other warehouse, man. I don't know if you're ready for hey, that. Hey, I don't know if I am either, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> well, shoot, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Man, okay, so obviously we were at location two. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, man. This is the this is the, the, the new compound we're building. This yeah. is this is not where the cars are gonna be at. Right, right, right. But this is, this is just temporarily because I had them outside for a long time, man. So I had about I had about thirty some cars outside for a good three months, man. So wow. you know, I gotta redip the rims on a lot of yeah. them, I gotta redip the chrome, I gotta redo the chrome on most of the cars, mm. you know, so it became already where it, it hit me in the hit me in the back with a double investment, you know. <laughs> and but they're inside so, now. Like, that's oh, awesome, we're, we're man. we're blessed, man. Yeah, we're we're they're out of the weather already. So. Man, I see some toys okay. up in here, bro. Man, you know I got a little something right here. I got from trucks to little old cars to little old new cars. cars. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this way, man. See what we got. We got a '55 here. You got a '55 right here. I don't even know you had this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, a lot of people don't know I got this. Uh, I got I got a '55, uh, beautiful car, mm -hmm. original interior. Uh, the paint uh, was restored. Uh, the whole bottom was restored a little bit, not too much. It was it's not a it's not a frame off. Right, right. So they did a couple of things, but the okay. interior and the top are still the OG tops mm -hmm. from the first owner, and it's immaculate, man. How how good it still looks. You know what I'm saying? And still original order, uh, uh, original engine, original tranny. Uh -huh. So you know. It's 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 a it's a good good car. Any plans for it? Gonna leave a stock? You, wanna, you, you know what, man? I was gonna go all out on it, but I, I'm gonna chill. Yeah, I think yeah. you yeah, know you my got mom. Toy, you yeah, chill. my mom was like, you should let that <laughs> one breathe. I said, all right, I'm gonna let it breathe. You know what I'm saying? So I like it. We got that. I see, we, uh, I see some uh, familiar cars over here. Yeah, we got that trade that went out on your page, man. This is crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, the owner bought it. Uh, I just talked to him, and he said I could say, uh, but he bought it for me off of your page. Yeah. You know, I sold the car for 135,000. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I think it's probably the only 63 out there that has ever sold for that high. Yeah. Right. I mean, in this, it's a mint condition. You uh -huh. know, so uh, he's never driven the car. The guy that bought it for me never driven the car. Uh, he said he wanted to buy it just because I owned it, and uh, I've I've had the car ever since. And I'm like, yo, when are you gonna take this car? He's like, man, I like seeing you guys <laughs> cruising it. You know, I said, all right. You know, if it messes up, I'll I'll fix it. I need some new tires now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, obviously because so. of tuck. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's gonna happen. You know, there's gonna be somebody eating these tires. Yeah, they're about two weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah. What is it about? Two inches on there? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know about them bad boys over there. You know, I got a super bird back there, and I got a Cuda. Damn, those are some big dogs. Man. Oh man, come on! I'm like, I show you. Go over there. Yeah, people. People don't 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 know where I got these. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a car guy, so I know yeah. about this. Yeah, this is a, a an original super bird. Uh, when I got this car, man, uh, my boy Rooster, mm. Rooster out there in Phoenix, man. you know, from, from Maniacos. Yeah. And, uh, he was like, you want to see something crazy? I was like, hell yeah. So he showed me this. I said, man, how much they want? I didn't even ask him. I said, dude, I want, I, it was funny cause I was looking for one and, uh, I seen an orange one mm. and then I like this color. So I was like, man, this, this, this is, this is something else. Yeah, this, this you bring this up. out already, man, this is a whole this different world. Up, man. I this, think this and a 59 was voted the ugliest cars when they were made and now they're like the most expensive cars. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Man, I probably <laughs> voted ugliest when they were made. I probably like the ugliest chick I know is probably worth the most, right? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I got this Cuda over here. Uh-huh. Uh, this car, man, is amazing car as well. This oh, is boy. super OG. Yeah. Uh, it's never been restored. The only thing the guy has done, he's done a few touch-ups to it before I got it. Mm -hmm. It was an old dude. He had it since 1970. Oh. He bought it. He bought it back in April of 1970, mm. and uh, we ended up picking up the car from him. Cars, pff, it's man. Pristine, man. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful I see that shifter. Car. Yeah, my dad got a shifter. Yeah, yeah. It has. They're both. They both got the shifters on it. They do. So okay. I mean, if you see these cars, the man, the beautiful cars. You know what I'm saying? Man, what, what year is this one? It's 70. 70, okay. Yeah, so my wife calls it a Dukes of Hazard car. Man, so old boy, has, he pretty much got this new then. No, he got it brand new. That's crazy. He got man. it brand new. Um, the only time I ever seen the weather was when it was in my house. It and was it was only one day. It was only one day. It sprinkled and we rushed and put it inside the house. Got the shake you know what I'm saying? On it? Yeah, man, this is, this is beautiful. Beautiful cars, man. Honestly, really it's like when I bring them out. You're a real car collector. You gotta have, you gotta have this, you know, somewhere in the corner. Yeah, man. I got cars probably that nobody ever think that I have. Hey, that's how I would be. You know? Yeah, I got a lot of cars that people say, "You got what?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This '61 looks very familiar. Oh yeah, this is Paul Pierce. This car belonged to Paul Pierce, a basketball player. Mm -hmm. um, but I known this car since back in the '90s. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, this car. This car goes all the way to the city of Venice. A guy, a guy named Wormy out there, he built this car. It was a whole different car. It was kind of like a, like a brown, it was like a, like a brown, a dark brown champagne. Like it had a weird color to it, but it was all gold. It had, I remember it had a, a it had some gold knockoffs. So, uh, uh, what else? I had a couple of things that were gold on it. And then uh, when Paul Pierce bought the car, he said he wanted a green because he was from Inglewood, right, you know, right, and it's all right, Inglewood. Right. And then he played, was playing for the Celtics. So they flew this car out to, to Boston, man. Uh. Yeah, yeah, he took this car to Boston. And now it came back home. You know, it, dope, it came, I was born and raised in Venice. So, you know, now it's back in Venice, man. Damn it, man. That's nice. Yes, sir. She, she yes, sir.
Didn't know anything about this one. Man, yeah, that one. That one's straight. He it just got here from Texas. On a gold, gold one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, got some OG Danes. Uh, straight OG, man. And is it, those are actually 14s. So I never had one with 14s on it, but you know what? That's actually a pretty smooth ride. I was like, man, I, yeah. I wouldn't mind putting some 14s on another car. You know? Hey, don't say that too loud now. They're going, you know how they do. <laughs> man, I, I mean, I, I just low ride. You know what I'm 14. saying? I just low ride. And, 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 and it doesn't look bad. Actually, I got a couple people that compliment the, like the, 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 the way it sits, you know? All right, all right. Is it cut? It has airbags. Oh, okay. It has airbags. not for long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people know me. I'm going to cut my shit. <laughs> yep. Damn. And then um, I had no idea you had this. Yeah, I got a Paris. I got this Paris over here, which is, uh, you know, this is this is this cars are something else, man. Yeah, man. I think the people that built these cars were like too advanced for the for their time. All you the know? old cars like that, especially yeah. Cadillac. They were they were beyond their time. Oh yeah, Cadillac. I mean, I it's, it was between this and the Le Cab. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I got California. You know, he does his thing. Right, right, right. With the interior, uh, I redid the interior. I cut the car. I actually going into paint in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna repaint the car. Uh, it's still gonna go with silver, but it's gonna be a little. Be, it's gonna be two silvers. Okay. Uh, but a little, a little darker and a little lighter than both. And um, I'm gonna go darker in the bottom and lighter on the top. You know what I'm saying? So I could give that match to the interior. Gotcha. So I'm gonna do a little thing, and then we did the top and got the little suede on the inside. Yeah, I see that. That's you know what I'm nice saying? Touch. That's a very nice touch. Yeah, so man. I don't know if you know really the the, the, the differences on, but the Paris, the, the tail of difference is really here, huh? Yeah, the Paris that's the, that's the only thing. Yeah, okay, that's, that's the, all, from that's from weird. yeah, from <laughs> you know when I was looking at Lee Cab, uh, I did see a few that I like. There's actually a purple one out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know whose is it, but man, I seen it, I was like, whoa. Yeah, I think and, it used to be the homies. Yeah, yeah, and that's what made me get into to buying a, yeah, a, a nice. Lee Cab or a Paris. But a friend of mine. Uh, told me about this Paris and he called me. I was buying some 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 stuff to play golf with. I don't play golf, but you know we just you we trying now, you know huh? we trying to you know get healthy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So trying to get in there and get some swings in there and yeah. and he sent me some pictures and I said, dude. So when I sent my guy to go pick it up, he didn't want to, the guy didn't want to sell it anymore. Oh, he was like, oh man, you know. Yeah, was, I've never seen this. Yeah, but it's, it's never been out in the streets. The only time is like I think we took it out a few times. Stamp on there. Yeah, the stamp of it and everything. Nice. Yeah. 64 over Super here. Super Sport. I comes from a one owner car. Original top, original interior, mm -hmm. uh, original everything. We just put some Danes on it just to yeah, just mess to... around with it, you know? Right. My boy went and uh, actually I bought the same car I bought the Cuda from was owner to this car. Okay. And he had the car, actually he's a second owner. I think he had the car since 69. So I don't, really? I, I think it was 69. Uh, or 68, I don't remember the year, but, but he's had that car for that long, man. And finally let go of that car, mm. you know? And, and it came here, I got the skirts and everything for it. I got, I got to change the rear end, right, uh, sure. you know, just cause I, I, I like, I like them with, skirt, with skirts, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh yeah, of course. So I'm gonna change the rear end. Engine, still same engine, same tranny. Okay. Really nice car. It is clean. You know what I'm saying? It, it's probably one of the only ones left with the OG silver interior, man. Look at this. This interior is crazy. Wow, okay. And this is all OG, man. Wow. Very nice. You know what I'm saying? So he said he retouched the dash. Mm. But other than that, you know, everything, everything, other than that, man, the car is a beautiful car. Really straight. Super straight. Sick you know what I'm saying? Deal. Dude, the, the guy, look at, look at this, dude. Just look at that. Nice. You know? You gonna cut this one? No, no. <laughs> uh, that'll hurt me if I cut this one. Yeah, man. And the Fleetwood ain't gonna lie. I thought it was my son's at first. Oh, really? It looks like it. <laughs> it looks just like this. Mine's a gold wheel. This was Mike Epps. For this real? Was, I bought this from Mike Epps. It wasn't cut or nothing like that. Yeah. Yeah, but this one actually, the reason I bought it is because we have a project behind it. Uh -huh. uh, Topo from Whitebody. Yeah. He's gonna make it a two door. Nice. So this is gonna this be is a right two door. Up his lane. Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna be. A, we're gonna go convertible. And then he was like, yeah. You know I think I remember Mike was posting this. Stock. Yeah. It's it was stock. stock. Yeah. And it's okay. super, super clean. Right, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Super Dang. clean. He said it came from a one owner. Mm. Uh, when I got it off. Of, this now. Yeah, I got it off of Mike, man. Mike was like, man, Jimmy, you're going to do something with it. And I was like, cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Topo just added the wheel on the back. A couple of things we did to modify it just to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, get it going, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Damn it, man. And, and then, 
I see that. Man, I that's. I know that bad boy was even for sale. Man, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to grab him in a headlock. Sorry, Larry. You know what I'm saying? I had to grab Big Larry in a hair in, in a headlock, and uh, this is I didn't I, I didn't touch anything to it. The only uh, out in the body and the everything, mm. all the accessories I left them, but I redid the interior. You know what I'm saying? I talked to uh, California, and I told Larry I said that's the only thing this car needs really is interior. You know? Yeah. And um, I called California, and uh, Big Joe was like, "Bring it." He's like, "What do you want?" I said, "I want to go black on black on black." You know? So he mm. did, man. And I was thinking about putting some black spokes. What do you think? Hey, I think black go hard on it. Right? Yeah. Black some little black spokes. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I'm not really into like the 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 color spokes. Yeah. But I think I think that one will be pretty cool, you like know? Like this or whatever. Yeah, man. Yeah, this one pop. has all the accessories. I see. Uh, it's it's fully stocked. And it's Larry's, man. And it hops. Was. It was Larry's. Yeah, it was Larry's. <laughs> Larry, sorry, man. <laughs> I can't shout out Larry. You know, I, I had to bug Larry a few times. And then one day I seen him and I said, okay, man, you're gonna sell it to me or not? And he said, uh, all right, I'll sell it. As soon as he said, he said I'm yeah, giving you a deposit. Yeah, 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 cause you know, Larry, he, this is, he, man, everybody knew Larry on this one, you know, for yeah. a while. Yeah. It's super clean, man. Yeah, big Larry on this, man. Mm. What setup is in this? What was that? What setup is in this? Oh man, it's a nice one. You know, big Larry style. No, I don't see the key. Where's the key, so let me see. Yeah, I'm already knowing Larry, he's he gonna do something. This mural is too sick. Killer One, South Los Angeles. I, had, I, I told Larry to redo some stuff on it because he, would, he didn't really want to hop it. But when he told me about the, the frame he had on it, yeah. I said, come on, Larry, we gotta, we gotta bust it down a little bit. Three pump, piston. Piston in the front, Two three squares. pump. Hey man, I tell you one thing, this, this, this boy right here flies. Mm, I bet. Yeah, man, this one, and it rides so smooth. I'm sure he so put smooth. all the secrets in this one. What was that? I said, I'm sure he put all the secrets in this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did some stuff. And even when I told him, I said, you know, hey, Larry, I want to hop it a little bit higher. He's like, you sure? I said, yeah. I said, all right. He came over. He was the happiest dude. He's like, I've been trying to do that to this car forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. So, this is Big Larry's, man. And, you know, it's like, like I told you, I, I like to, you know, I want to buy something that, that's meaning to Right. to whatever I get, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. And uh, I was telling you that earlier that, that my goal is to, I want to build a museum. That'd be sick. I want to have a lowrider museum, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I want to build it because I want, I, want, I want our culture and everything to keep going, you know? It's like, it's, it's, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the old school guys, they, they like to like get on the, on the new ones coming in, you know, yeah, and yeah. call them culture vultures and stuff. Yeah. And, and I'm like, you know, so, some dude told me one day, he's like, oh, now you think you lowrider? And I said, look, man, I've been low riding forever. Yeah. I said, I've been low riding since I was, man, 16 years old, probably older than you, dude. Yeah. You know, and, and I said, it's just I couldn't afford to have whatever car I wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, my first car was a 67. You know, it was rusted. It was rusted from the <laughs> hey, flow up to the- It was my baby, though. Hey, it was my baby, man, until <laughs> I couldn't afford it no more, you know? But I had, you know, I had different rims on there. I could, they were all donations and, yeah. you know, people donated parts to me and my boy, uh, uh, Rick over there at Low Life cut it for me, man. Okay. You know, so he shout cut out it. To Rick. Yeah, shout out to Rick. He he cut it, and we was rolling. And I had to get rid of it, you know, and then I was able to put my hands on another one. You know, I put my hands on the '87. Yeah. And man, when I got that '87, I got Doc to do it. <laughs> Doc did the the the, the graphics on it. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, he did my rims as well, mm. and um, you know, we got some stuff going, man. It's it's like, but then again, I had to get rid of it too. You know, mm. it's I need to pay the bills. Yeah, man. Be yeah. like that, but shoot, now you're getting them back. So oh, man. Back. I try. I, yeah. Because I, I, I see the homie just came right now. Why? Oh, hey. Big Topo. Topo. Come on in. Come here, Topo. <laughs> I see Topo pulled up clean. You see, hey, Topo, Topo always rolling at her. Hey, he on 4 g <laughs> <laughs> What's up, big homie? Up, uh, big Topo. Hey, man, I, I heard about the secret on this Fleetwood. What secret? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I guess y'all gonna be, you know, getting rid of some doors. We got to, man. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I, we top, I, I said, Topo, man, you got to come out the works. So I drove up, man. I said, Topo, you going to cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, I retired from that already. I'm, it's I said, clean, though, you know what I'm saying? It's clean. It's yeah. real clean, too. I had to drive it and mess it up a little bit in order for him to get it going. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah. yeah. Get a rock pit in the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, Topo, see, Topo, man, he's my guy that always tells me to stop buying cars. 
And my wife thinks he's the one that sells them to me, so I blame it on him all the time. Really? Oh, damn, Topo made me I, buy this car. I, I told him, man, I'm going to see how I can figure out to get you banned from uh, Cali Boy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I'm going to call Cali Boy, I'm going to tell him to block you. <laughs> you and Snoop would be like, hey, man, hey, man, I hate looking at your fucking page and keep yeah. buying stuff. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I know a few people, man, that, that just tell me, like, oh, man, I already got, like, seven cars from Cali Broker, man. I can't be on there no more. <laughs> it's a love-hate. It's a love-hate page, for real. You know, it's, it's like, I, I think you have the... Uh, I call your page the wish page. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us wish that we had the cars that you have on there. Yeah. So it's like, you know, even Topo too, man. Topo yeah. shit. He got a he got a suburban right now, a dually suburban. Yeah. Clean, clean, clean. One of the I've never oh, seen. Where's that? Right. Where's it at? That's your spot right there. I ain't got no room for that oh. spot, so sitting outside your spot. Man, man. <laughs> see, yeah, that's spot number three over there. We got some oh more cars God. over there, man. I'm done. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, actually, we didn't get into this before, before we ran the camera time. Man, this one came from Phoenix. This one, this one's pretty cool, man, because uh, the kid that hit me up on this, on this one, mm. um, I told him I was looking for a C10, right? And the dude was like, okay. Uh, some, some youngster hit me up. He was like, yo, my dad has one. His dad wasn't even selling it. <laughs> and then he was like, That's how you oh, well, my, well, my son told me you were interested in buying it. He's like, I'm not selling it. I said, look, I said, I like your truck. It didn't have, the, it didn't have these wheels, yeah. uh, but it was, I didn't, haven't done anything besides the wheels, right? And um, he, I said, well, I, I like the truck. What are we talking about? And he said, oh man, you know, I've had it for 10 years building it. So the dad built it for 10 years. Mm. He painted the truck himself. Uh, he did everything himself, you know, with little minor details that I got to do to it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's nothing, no, no, nothing big, you know, it does have an LS. Yeah, yeah, I see You know that. what I'm saying? <laughs> this motherfucker, so hell, all his ass. So look, so for the sit, how it's sitting right now, is this, is this stock or you did something to the suspension? Yeah, we did some, of course, we had, uh, no, he had already done something to the suspension. Mm. So he did, he redid all the suspension, all the front and back. Mm. And when I got it over here, I seen these wheels on this. Like I pictured, uh, I went with Topo one time to, uh, to, to Forgiato, to, to the warehouse, and I seen these wheels, and I was like, hey, Topo, really? They doing, they doing some things? They look like McLean's to me, but you know what I remember? mean? Yeah, because of the face, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah that's but... Forgy's thing. They, they floating caps too, right? Yeah, they floating yeah, caps. Yeah, floating now. Yeah, and, and that's when I decided to say, man, I'm going to drop these on there. So we put some 26s on this, you know? Yeah. And it still hauls ass. I bet. I still do donuts, honey. What? You're yeah, a fool, man. I know, man. I'm, I know, but I, I only did it once or twice. That's it. <laughs> That's all you need to do, just say you did it. <laughs> you did it, man. I showed a close up to it on it. Uh, yeah, man. man let's, let's go tell them about, uh, you know, your future plans of, 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 of your compound. Of all right, man. Of. So I, I went in and, you know, visit Scoop, uh, Snoop a few times. Yeah, yeah. And Snoop messed up my head over there, man. He messed you know? up my head, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I went over there and visit Snoop, man, and, and he took me into, into Disneyland. Yeah. For us dudes that are car enthusiasts, that are that are into video, into gaming, and to like all of that, you know. And when I walked in there, and I said, "Man, this is this is beautiful," yeah. and I said, "Man, I'm gonna build me something like this." He said, "Go for it." He said, "Go for it." So we, we I was looking for a warehouse for a while. I did look over there in the west side, and when we found this spot right here, uh, it was it's, we we spend a lot of money a year renting locations for music videos, for office space, for, for music, uh, music studios and stuff like that. So, you know, I said, man, I'm gonna build something that uh, I don't have everybody cornered in, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody in the same building. So I was looking for something that had a few warehouses and also office spaces and stuff like yeah. that. So I've came across this and uh, man, I fell in love. Yeah, I said, when I said, done, this is it. Gonna be sick. Gonna oh, be yeah, we got some stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's sick now. Yeah. I'll, be, hey, I'll be happy with it right now. Yeah, we, hey. we have some stuff coming in here. So, I mean, <laughs> we just can't get ready. I, I, I'm ready. You know, I got construction people. The architects already been over here. They already got the plans on works. And yeah. we ready to go, man. Sure, and I'm ready show, to show man. you a little bit. Yeah, let's show you know? it, man. Let's roll. <laughs> All right, man. So tell us what we got going on. All right, man. Yeah. So this is, a, this is the entrance to the, to the one of the entrances to this uh, beautiful place that I see it <laughs> like gold, you know. This, this is going to be the warehouse where I'm going to have the cars at. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do some stuff inside. I'm going to do like a diner. I actually got a guy that's, that's, that's uh, doing a replica of the Whittier Boulevard sign. Really? Yeah, so I'll, I'll lighten up. I'm going to put that inside too. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a few things, make me feel like I'm at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the cars. I'll show you. Come over here, man. Maybe uh, this, is the, this is the warehouse location for, for the cars. So 
you can fit, fit about probably 40 cars, what yeah. we estimated. A few lifts, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get a few lifts in there and, you know, put about 40 cars in there. Got Topo in there, you know. That's how you feel, dog? That's how you feel? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got this warehouse. So that actually where the car is at, where the, where the cars are at right now, uh -huh. that's actually going to be a video studio. Oh, so okay. we're going to be, room we, room. we're going to do a green room. Uh, we're going to do a live uh a stage, uh, a live stage performance yeah. area in there too. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of LEDs everywhere, and uh, you know, get get a lot of the stuff going. Get a lot of my bands in here. Uh, my company's named Rancho Milde uh, Entertainment, so this is gonna be the the Rancho Milde compound. You know hey, what I'm like saying? For Mr. Hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, Man, you know, I got the office is gonna be upstairs. I got uh -huh. a music studio that we're doing over there. Okay. Um, and one of the corners that we're doing, uh, one of the, the other warehouses over here, we're shooting. Uh, uh, we're we're planning to do a. A barber shop, and it's gonna be a shoe store and a clothing store at the same time. That's sick. But you know the shoe store is gonna be like them Jays you always want it. Yeah. But it ain't gonna be no twenty five hundred dollars, man. We're gonna try to give everybody a, a reasonable oh, price. Oh, have a line around the building. Oh man, we gotta you know we gotta hook up the hood, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like because I feel bad for a lot of these you know youngsters that yeah, so you're back, you know man. yeah, dude. You know they they because I'm I'm a shoe fanatic myself. I am too. So I see it. <laughs> I seen them. I'm so, Air Max head though. Yeah, Air Max man. I, I am too. Them ninety fives got me going. You know, and and I tell people all the time. I said, dude, you know, it's I just I just reminisce back to when I didn't have it, you know. Yeah, man. And you know, it was just so hard to get even some Air Maxes that were ninety five dollars, you know. Yeah. Back in the days, I, back in the days, they were forty dollars. You know, now they ninety five. But I, you know, I understand there's a different in prices now. But you know, it's like we got to give an opportunity. Some Jordans come out right now, and you got to spend five hundred dollars to get them. Yeah. And you know, it ain't really that. It's just you know, certain places got it like that. And I think we can big it back to like them two fifties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 250, 300 market. I'm not here to kill the game, but you know I'm here to help out my peeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you want to look good. And still get a piece of your own. You know, you know because all these companies get rich off the hood. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You know, all them all them stores at Melrose and all that, man. I go over there, spend damn well ten thousand dollars on four pair of shoes. Yeah. I'm like these kids can't do that. <laughs> look, you I know say yeah, like I know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got some other stuff over here. And I got some people over here doing um, doing graffiti. graffiti. Stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, I'm I, my brother. I was into graffiti growing up as well, man. But right. you know, it's like my brother. He's really deep into graffiti. He's doing the first one. Some other guy named Luxor did that one. And uh, we're, I'm thinking about doing the whole side right here, That's and then sick. that, and then the walls over there. I want to do graffiti all around. You know what I'm saying? Keep it, keep it right. You feel That's me? Sick, man. So keep vision, it right, man. This is gonna be sexy. Yeah, man. We're gonna have our offices. Rancho Mila offices are gonna be upstairs. Mm. So, was, you know, I'm going to have my, my, my mechanic and car shop over there on that side. I'm going to have my merch warehouse over here. So, you know, it's just all in one now, man. You know, it's like I got a lot of locations that, you know, I got off. Excuse me. I got an office in downtown. I got a studio in downtown, mm -hmm. another building. I got we always renting out warehouses to film and stuff like that. Yeah. So I said, man, keep it in house, you know. Mm. Keep it in house. I'm telling you, when I went over there with Stu, I was like, man, Stu, I was like, why you bring me here, man? And, and he was like, to inspire you, man. And, and honestly, man, I appreciate when Snoop did that because, you know, it made me open my eyes and, and, and know how much we could help the youth. You know, it doesn't have to be a Mexican dude. It could be a brother. It could be white. It could be, I don't yeah, care. It's, it's you know, so long as you want, you have that love for, and passion for whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my, our doors are open. That's you know dope, what I'm saying? Man. So. So this is just a little little sneak peek. Little Actually, sneak peek, nobody boy. knows about this. What? Yeah, nobody knows this about this. Exclusive. Yeah, this is exclusive. <laughs> it's exclusive, That's man. That's dope. So, I mean, yeah, I, I didn't know you had all this going on too, man. But yeah. Damn it, man. This is just a little. I, I didn't take you to spot number three for the cars, but I think we'll leave that for the. I got some <laughs> other babies over there too. I got a couple of cars over there in the works. Uh, almost done with Snoop's car. With, uh, I know you built a couple for him, yeah, and yeah. yo, Snoop, yeah, he's, he's, still got, he's still got more coming than I, that I know of. So, yeah, man. Snoop, man. Y'all do, man. I don't lost count how many cars y'all got. Yeah, he's man. like, man, my girl tells me all the time, man, between you and Snoop, y'all crazy. And I'm like, man, you know, it's like Snoop, too. Yo, we, we sit there and talk, and it's like, you know, we, we didn't have nothing growing up. Yeah, man. You know, we looked at everybody with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and luckily, now we get to we get to enjoy it. to go get it, yeah. Yeah, and, and then plus, so I was telling you earlier, like, I don't drive all my cars. Yeah. I probably only just drive the 64, the blue, the blue one. Well, you be in that one. <laughs> That's probably it. But all my boys growing up, you know, that I grew up with, they all they all go cruising with me every weekend. Damn. You know, it's like that's our bonding time. And I tell them, don't buy a car, man, because if you buy a car, then you're going to stop driving my car. 
So I'm like, dude, you don't need a car right now. That's you know, dope. we got the homie draw your whips. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, and and I tell them, you know, at first it was like, you know, they'll get there and I had the cars all nice and clean. I said, oh hell no, nah. <laughs> you better get here two hours before and clean your car because I ain't cleaning that shit That's no more. Dope. <laughs> yeah, so when man. I show up at what, 2 o'clock? Yeah, I get to yeah about 2.30. Two, about, about two okay, cool. I, I, I figure I was doing what I want to drive. We got to do a cruising day with Cali Boy, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's cool, man. I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got to do that. It's fun out there, man. Shout out to everybody that be out there cruising. Yeah. And uh, to all the, all, you know, all the old school people that, that, that roll, man. Let the youngsters come in. Let them keep the, the, the culture surviving, you know? I call them gatekeepers. Them, yeah. Yeah, they're the gatekeepers, <laughs> man. Keepers, man. But, but, you, know. you know, just let them in. There ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, if you see cars that are more expensive, be happy about it. You know, it's like, I love it. I don't care. You know, I, I'm not saying because I could afford it, but I'm saying it, it's it's like, to me, if I was growing up and I wanted a $50,000 car, mm. I'm going to work my ass off to get That's that $50,000. Yeah, I was like, you feel I got to figure it out. Yeah, you got to figure Nowadays, it out. You know, everybody, they want stuff given to them now. You know, here, here yeah. you go. And then, and then they don't appreciate it. I think I've never received anything for free in my life i'm against that i'm against the free things yeah, you know um I, it doesn't mean that i don't like giving because you know i like to donate back to the communities and stuff like that mm. and that's what i do man i, I love it because you know i I, remember, I still remember that the people dropping off that government cheese dog man that government cheese was bomb you know you, it was really hard to cut it <laughs> and then you had a, you know we had we had those my mom you know we had the tortillas and we would cut them in chips and she would cook them and those were our nachos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the jalapenos and that man, government cheese, man. That government cheese was no Damn. joke. You know, and then we got lucky and they started bringing hand with it too. <laughs> Y'all was out there eating good. And then we would go to the, you know, we would go to the to the to the boys and girls club and they'll give us a, a loaf of bread. So man, we had it, man. You know, and you struggle. Yeah, man, you just never forget about that. And and I think, you know, still growing up and you want to just give that back. Yeah. You know? It's like cause a lot of these people in the hoods, man. You know, well, I know the struggle. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, you yeah, do too, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. So shout out to everybody out there doing it, man. Yeah, man. Trying at least, you know what I mean? Shout out to Kelly Boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got big old pockets. I heard he walking around with a security <laughs> now too. Him up, boy. <laughs> Shit, boy, all that. <laughs> man, you know what? Shout out to you though, man, because you 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 doing something. I'm telling you, you probably like the next recycler, man. Like you you the you the upgrade recycler company. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and to me, that's dope, dude. That I get to even meet you now before you get all rich. <laughs> I mean, you said you, you, you've always given me my, you know, my props, man. So you know, that's yeah, gonna be. We've always been in the DM, like, man, I appreciate you, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, I do, man. And it's it's like you were like my, you were like my go-to every day in the world. You still are, but like you were like my go-to. Okay, what should I buy today? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what should I buy today in pandemic? You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't yeah, do nothing yeah. else. Yeah. So everybody was like selling their shit, yeah, flipping their shit. Yeah. Morning, swap me, left everybody hanging. Cook meat. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, we went the other day, man. It was crazy. That's I said, I'm going bad. back to Cali. Yeah, it was too bad. I'm out man. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, man. But we out here, man. I appreciate you for giving me some space in your time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. coming out here, I got to show you a little bit of something that what we got. And, and that's another it, man. Mike D exclusive. Yeah. Another Mike D exclusive. Another Mike D exclusive.
another Mike D exclusive. Another Mike D exclusive. Another Mike D exclusive. Big dog, so we out here living luxury life, you know what I mean? We chilling, man. <laughs> we, we, we chilling Jimmy Miller style. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, let's get into it, man. Just, you know, just a, a little bit so people can get to know you a little bit better, man. I guess tell them your name and uh, what, what city we're in. Man, my name is Jimmy Miller. Right now, we're in the city of Paramount, California. Okay. Uh, but I'm originally from Venice, Venice, California, then moved to the city of Lenox, which is right next to Inglewood. Been there the, the half of my life. And then finally got a chance to move out. I say finally got a chance, man, because I'm like, dude, not because of the neighborhood. It was a parking, dog. Oh, <laughs> man. I could never find parking, dog. Like, man, I was like, hell yeah, now I got parking. Yeah, I still go over there a lot, man. I visit my hometown. Yeah. Both of them, you know, it's like I still communicate with all the same people. And, man, them, them cities were so good to me, man. That That's dope, man. I can't leave it. You yeah. know, I can't leave it's them behind. It. Oh, That's man. It, if I don't go at least twice, <laughs> two to three times a week, yeah. Man, my body's aching. I feel bad. I'm yeah, sick. Like yeah, dude, I gotta have my tacos. You know, I gotta be. I gotta be. I gotta be straight up, man. But I try to. I try to still communicate out there, and you know, I'm always out in East LA. I'm always out there yeah. chilling, man, yeah, doing my thing. I always see you. Yeah, man. Um. Okay. Uh. So for the people who, for some reason, don't know who you are, man, I guess tell them. Tell them what it is that, that you do. How did, how did we get to where we got today? That, that, that's funny you say that, man, because I had a dude the other day. He was like, man, you're a dope dealer, huh? I was like, man. <laughs> I was like, you know how scared I am to sell dope? I said, man, that was like my biggest fear. Like, I never, I never, I remember I sold a, a little bag of, of $5 of weed one time. Hey, I felt bad, dog. I was like, man, I thought I was doing the biggest drug deal in my life. Man, <laughs> I've been in the music business since I was uh, 14 years old, man. I'm 42 now and uh, been blessed to still be a part of music. Uh, I just started to open my own record label about uh, 2009, mm. <clears throat> 2010, sorry. I opened my own record label and uh, we do Mexican regional music, okay. uh, which is also this, this, the last, you know, two to three years I've been doing more like a uh, little bilingual here and there, yeah. you know, yeah, putting yeah. in some stuff. I've been doing some hip hop. I've been doing some trap, some reggaeton. I've been doing a little bit of everything, yeah. you know, uh, 
just involved in the music, man. Music is my life. Yeah, because it's heavy right now. I mean, I, I, look, you yeah. know, I support. I don't know everything that, you know, what's going on on your page, but I'm like, 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 like. Yeah, yeah I, I mean? see it. I see it all the time, man. You know, we've been blessed, dude. Uh, uh, I got a, I got not one. I got probably about 10 platinum artists. Uh, I got pr artists that has won several awards. Uh, uh, even us as a company, you know, we got uh, the label of the year uh, oh, nice. for two years in a row now with Billboard. Yeah. And that's been crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? And it's like our music just to be in the top charts with a lot of hip hop artists that we grew up mm -hmm. listening to yeah. that we never thought would be in the same charts yeah, with. Yeah. You know, we got our artists competing with them. And man, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful, is, man. man. You know, I've been doing that and uh, people know me from always giving giving back to the community. And yeah. and it's like I can't I couldn't see myself doing another thing, man. Yeah, man. You, you definitely do, man. You're always giving props. You're always showing love, man. That, that's one man. thing that I, I definitely know from you. Toby yeah, and Jimmy, man. Yeah. Um, so obviously you were saying your the favorite car for you is the '64, the blue. All day, all day. <laughs> and I, it's back on the road, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's back. It's, it's on its way over <laughs> here right so now. It's already back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, you know what happens? I got Mele. He's always with me, man, and my brother. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're pretty much the mechanics to all the cars. And <clears throat> my brother, he man, it's, it's funny because growing up, I grew up in body shops. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my brothers. All my brothers worked at body shops and my, my oldest brother still has a body shop to this day. Mm. And, uh, you know, so I did the body shop thing, but man, I wanted to get out of there. I couldn't, I couldn't do that work, man. My brothers had me in there sanding cars, yeah, uh, washing cars. Yeah, I can wash them. You know, yeah, I, I wash them all day. Know body work. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah, but they, they had, I was learning, you know, I know how mm. to take out dents here and there, how to mm. spray them and how to do the, the, you know, how to, how to spray, not the paint, but the you know the 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 primer, the like primer yeah, 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 and yeah. how to know where to you know do the little black on top of the primer kind of know where to right, right. you know where I gotta sand it the, the most to and and stuff like that so I don't know much about it yeah, I probably yeah. don't even know at all but <laughs> but I know <laughs> how to sand that yeah. you know what I'm saying I that's remember more than me. yeah yeah <laughs> man yeah, and I understand the work that's why I think growing up I, I I started learning and appreciating cars so much because. Just the amount of work that I've seen my brothers and my and and family members yeah. just put into a quarter panel, oh, into yeah. a, a fender, yeah. into a hood. You know, back yeah. then yeah. it wasn't that. Oh, let me order what paint you got, what number of paint you mm -hmm. got. And see, a lot of y'all people don't know. You take your car to the shop and take your fender and the hood is dent. You know, I don't mean to burn nobody, but now you just order it. You know, yeah, and, yeah. and and it's like. You know, it, it's back in the days, it's like they really had to take those dents out, you know? And, yeah. But there's a lot of shops that still do all the work. Really you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, there's a lot yeah. of people who still want, no, they want OEM metal. They don't want, you know what I mean? It's, it's funny, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's different lanes. But yeah. what uh, what got you into, you know, the whole car thing, period? What, what was the first car? Well, I mean, I've always, my first car that I ever owned was, uh, uh, I think it was a Beretta. No. Yeah, saying? but it, it was like an eight color Beretta. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like and the, the reason I say it was eight colors because I remember I bought the car, but I mean it was it had dents all over the place, mm. and I went to the junkyard and they had Berettas, yeah. but they weren't all the same color. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you know the back of the Beretta was like a light blue with a blue top, uh, with a navy blue top, and then the rest <laughs> I had an orange fender, then I had a gray hood, mm. and then I had a, a a red fender on the other side, oh, man. and then I had a, 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 a I think it was a black door. Oh man, I I used to have to park it like a block away from where I work. Oh man, that's the worst. You know, <laughs> you know, and people would see me getting out of it. Oh man, yeah, I just moved it for this dude. You know, lying. <laughs> yeah, like a mug. You know, but I, I mean, I, I learned to appreciate it. I remember I sanded down one time. We primed the whole car, and then my dad sold it. My dad sold it, and I got into a, a '90 Camaro. Really? Uh, T tops. Nice. Uh, man, it was beautiful. I, nice. That's actually why the reason. I got my license suspended. You that know, car? yeah, dude, oh, that car. Shit, I was going hundred and something. Oh my god! All the time. I remember, dude. It was <laughs> like, I remember the 105 freeway was never packed. So 105 was my. Oh, that was way back in the day. Yeah, man. that was my running, my runaway. Mm. You know, that was where I would go on there and race dudes. Mm. But you know, it was, it was like I got caught a few times, but they suspended my driver license when I hit over 100 miles per hour, and they take the car. I was, I, I was able to get it back, with, but. I, uh, my brother got it and yeah. he kept it. He just said, I'm gonna just keep it. I said, yeah, that's cool, keep it. And then um, I didn't have a car for a while and then that's when they took my dad's car away from me. The Caddy. The Cadillac yeah. and uh, I went to jail that day. I was in jail for like two weeks. I owed like $10,000 in tickets. I said, I ain't gonna pay them 10,000, man. Just leave me in jail. <laughs> and this, I mean, it, 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 it was an experience, but it wasn't the funnest, you yeah, know, it was, yeah. 
it was a true experience there. You know, I know it was only two weeks. A lot of you out there did time and shit, man. My, like, that ain't my shit hat, bad. my hat goes to y'all, man. <laughs> you know, they were, man, you didn't do shit. I know. I, I trust me, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. And yeah. and you know, it's everybody that that has done. I got friends still been in jail mm -hmm. for 20, 25 years. You know, I got friends that's just now gonna get out of jail after 23 years. You know, so yeah. it's like. I could just imagine for a lot of the dudes that are busted, and they they watch a lot of your stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, they watch a lot of your stuff in there, man. The reason I know is because the dude, I, you know, my homie that's been busted for a long time, uh, you know, they got their little things in there, and and, and he goes, like, man, you know, hey, did you see that sixty one on Cali Broker? Yeah, I see it, man. And sometimes he'll even tell me like, hey, you checked out that sixty four on there? Yeah, I see it. I remember trying to get. It. Yeah, I was like, man, you trying to give me a call when you come out? I'm trying to trying to make me get you one, huh? But shit, yeah, he man. knows. He knows he's gonna come out some, and yeah, hey, man, you know all my boys. Like I said, it's like I, I take care of all my people. You know, my day ones, I make sure they look good. Yeah. You know, I work my ass off. You know, I know I have a lot of people I can't give to everybody. You know, I but mean, yeah, obviously. Shit, you know, I do what I can. Right, right. Uh, so before we go too deep into it, I guess if you want to tell them your Instagram name uh, in case they want to look you up. Yeah, Jimmy Humilde dot rh. Yeah, but oh, going back to why I got into the cars, man. So, mm -hmm. so uh, my brother, when I was nine years old, I remember, still remember, when I was nine year old, nine years old, my brother had a Deville. I mean, he had a, yeah, he had a Deville, uh, cut on switches, Ooh. and I remember him hitting it, and he would let me hit it. I remember, and then, ever since then, it's like I would, I grew up in the neighborhood, you know, yeah. shit. Everybody had one, you know. Yeah. Well, the dudes that was doing it, right? The dudes that was you doing know, it. here comes so and so bumping. It. You know, just him coming down the street, you know, da -da, you know, it's like, it's like, damn. And then across the street from me, I lived right in the corner of my house, right? At uh, the corner of the neighborhood on 15th Indiana in Venice. Mm. So where I lived at, that's where a, 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 a gang hung out mm. in that corner, you know, and it was a, it was a black gang, yeah. you know, and, and um, I would always come outside and they would always have their cars parked there. And, you know, it was like, man, they, they would always call me Little Jimmy because I was a little runner. You know, I was a dude that would. And like I would always ask him, y'all want something from the store? Yeah, yeah. Cause you know I kept the change. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Shit. That was the first hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Bring me a grape soda, a Snicker, uh, and okay. how much? Five dollars. You ain't gonna get it. Five dollars. Yeah. You know I made sure they gave me a ten. You know, yeah, yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah. You know, give me a pickle, whatever. When I was at the store, but <laughs> you know, coming back to that is like uh, there was a, a a yellow 65 that would always park yellow 65 with a black top convertible. Um, it was a, some dude that lived across the street from my house. Mm. I used to wash his car every weekend, you know, every weekend. I was like 12 years old, 11 or 12 years old. And he would come outside and be like, who washed my car? You know, he yeah. didn't know it. I wouldn't say yeah. nothing. I'd just be there looking and like, Tripping man, down. like, and I would, I would, I remember I would sit there and I would sit there with a toothbrush and, uh, Are you uh it for real, and, and yeah, the white walls, <laughs> I would sit there and I would, I would grab, you know, the Clorox, the, the yeah. powder one, yeah, and I'll mix yeah, it with water and, and dish soap <laughs> and I'll be there with a tire oh, and then, you know, wipe it down and, and I remember we had a water hose on the apartment, and I would pull it out and just wash it. And but this was like at yeah, six thirty-seven yeah, yeah. in the morning. Yeah, well, yeah. You, so, I, I know it's your early bird. So. Well, well, my, well, I was an early bird because my mom was there mopping, and I and I slept in the living room. So, you know, I didn't have yeah. a choice. I had to get up. Yeah. So I remember he they uh, they snitched on me that I was the one that was washing his car. Yeah. And uh, he goes, Jimmy, come here. I was like, oh man, and you know he was loud too, and he was one of them scary motherfuckers. So he, I was like, oh fuck, I fucked up. And he told me, man, Jimmy, you wash my shit? I was like, yeah, yeah, man, I did. Sorry about that. And he was like, no, why you wash my car for it? And then he's like, and he put out, I remember he put out the 20, and he was like, oh, I was like, no, nah, nah, I don't want the money, you know? And he was like, well, wash what? Just I, love. He said, man, I just love you touching your car. And then he was like, like what you want to do? Well, well, I got to give you something. And I said, I just want to sit in it, you know? I remember he let me sit in it, man. Yeah, love. And he was like, hit the switch. And I was like, hell yeah. Ah, that's what you fell in love. No, no, I had a fell in love already with my brother, but yeah, he okay. let me hit it. And Damn. and he let me hit it and he would let me hit it all the time. And he'll be he'll show off to everybody, look at your fools know how to hit. Look at little Jimmy. But I think that's one of the reasons why I never got to 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 hit it from out, outside mm. because he checked me. Mm. I would I would do it from outside and he said, Man, you gotta do it like a real low rider dude. You gotta hit it from inside. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, okay. He's like, don't you ever hit a car from outside. And I was. This was a dude that had four, 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 yeah. four nice cars. That Big one was dog. the one he left outside. This yeah, one was the one man. he had one at his mom's. Had the other two. So it was like, it was like, like I. He was a real dude. He was yeah. known, you know, in the neighborhood, you know, driving those type of cars. So uh, when he's like, man, you gotta give it to you. You gotta give it on your left. You gotta keep pride. And don't put the switches on the right, cause then you're cheating. 
And then he's like, you know, this is when you rolling and you want to dip on fools. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So then I just kept it going, man. And I just kept practicing. And then I think on my 67, I got, I had baby hops. Yeah, yeah, but man, yeah. it was hopping, hey, though. It was hopping. It was hopping. Right? It was hopping. Yeah. It was getting off Some the floor. Can't even get that. You know, and, yeah. and, and, and then once I got my 87, I started. I started. Getting into yeah, it. Yeah. I started hitting that switch, man, and that yeah. three wheel and that. I had a high ass three wheel, had a high ass lockup in the back, and and I was really low. And I was out on Crenshaw, yeah. I was out on Broadway. I was out, I really never went to Whittier because Whittier wasn't that popping that much. Yeah. But I would go to Hollywood, but I would go to Crenshaw and, and Broadway all the time. Yeah. I, but that, nobody yeah. knew me. Remember that man? Yeah. It was beautiful. I remember I hit yeah. that red light and three wheel it, and wham! And I remember dudes follow me or I'll follow a dude, and <laughs> and I didn't know nobody out there. You know, yeah. I wasn't in from a car club or nothing. I was just out there having fun. Yeah. You know, so I'm still out there. I, I'm the same dude. Yeah. I low ride now, just like I low ride back then. You know, it's like now just a couple people know me and a couple. And <laughs> <laughs> Who's on side of the road? Like, I'm like, yeah, can I get an autograph? Yeah, man. Um, you know? So shoot, I mean, I I know you're successful now. You know, you're obviously you're doing it. But is there anything still that that you wish you could tell a younger you to to help you get to where you are today? Maybe I would or, just or something that, or even something that you, that maybe you want to tell somebody who's trying to do better. In life, look, I ain't I ain't gonna be a hypocrite, and I ain't gonna tell people to get out the street, mm. because then I'll be I'll be teaching you wrong. But because I still haven't got out the streets, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I think I built my success in the streets, and I always believed in my people, and that's one of the main things that you gotta have is belief. You know, if you believe in yourself, you could accomplish yourself to do anything. And as long as you believe in yourself, as long as you have faith in what you do, and just don't give up. You know, it's like I always I say it all the time, you know, you can they're gonna close the door on you, they're gonna tell you no, you know, you ain't gonna hear hear that beautiful yes. You hey, you know, Cali bro, Cali, you know man, Cali boy, can you give me an interview? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it ain't always gonna be a yes, you know, but but it's like I mean, you, facts, you know, it's it's it ain't always gonna be that yes. And to me it's like I, I became, you know, no became a part of my life. Yeah. You know, I learned to keep no to be a part of my life and you know, when the door closes, I think it's just closed to be open either by somebody else. Right, you know? right, so, right. Another opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it, and then another thing, too, there wasn't just one door yeah. made in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there isn't. There's millions of doors. You, you never know, yeah, man. Millions of doors in this world. Now, if you focus on that one door, then... Then, yeah, then it's, it's not gonna you're going to lose it. All and right, then everybody, you know, a lot of people, get out the streets, streets is no good. Yeah. Man, you know, you, you could take advantage of of what you want to do in or wherever you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I know dudes that very successful off of selling sneakers, off of selling shirts, off of selling hats, off of selling uh, uh, USBs, yeah, yeah, off yeah, of yeah. selling cars on the internet, you know? I don't know what you're talking about. That. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's like, it, it comes a point where, you know, it's like I tell people, don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up, man. Don't, don't give up. Don't be scared. So do what you want to do, man. Either you want to be a scientist, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a, a movie producer, movie director. You could be, you could start off by being a doctor assistant. Yeah. You know, yeah. I used to carry bags for artists. Yeah. I used to iron their clothes. I used to go get them food at three, four in the morning because they were hungry. Yeah. And I used to go and, and I got screamed at. You brought me the wrong toothbrush. Damn, fuck. All right, I gotta. But I, I heard I, a lot of horror stories. You know, and, and I gotta yeah. check myself. It, it was like. I wouldn't get mad at it because he didn't ask me for that. Right, right, right. You know, so you got to correct yourself, and you know, it's now. and it's like when when you learn how to listen, and you learn how to how to learn, you know, some more, mm. and teach yourself more knowledge, then you have nothing stopping you to whatever you want to do, man. You know, that's the best thing I can say. That's good spit, man. Uh, I know you got countless amount of cars. I don't lost count. <laughs> but do you feel that you've gotten your dream car, or is there a car you're like, nah, I still got to get my hands on that? Uh, there's, there's a car that I like. There's a car that I like. I'm not going to say it's my favorite car yeah. because I think, you know, ever since I would, you know, sit in a chair at my house and I'll grab a steering wheel that my neighbor had in the back yeah. and I would play cruising in my six four. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, that to me always came in and, and made it like probably one of the things that I always wanted in life was right. a 64. And then... I grew up in body shops where my brother, uh, my brothers were, uh, you know, they were, uh, uh, they were, they were, um, my brothers would fix 
the Rolls Royce, the Porsches, the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris. Yeah. You know, my brother had a shop called British European Exotics and they fixed nothing but those cars. So to me, it's like, I knew what a Rolls was. I knew what a Bentley was. I knew what a Lamborghini was. I knew what a Ferrari was. Yeah. Cause I got to work on them. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, I knew the specialty of those cars, you know? And, and, and I kind of, I, I told myself in life, I said, I'm going to give me a 6.4. I'm going to give me a Rolls Royce. I'm going to give me a Ferrari and I'm going to give me a Lamborghini. Nice. And I told myself that. And, you know, and, and I told him and I'm going to, and I said, also, I'm also going to give me a, a 454, Ooh. you know, and, and I did. So, but there is a car out there. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, the Porsche Carmen. Yeah. Those are hard. I want one, man. I want one. <laughs> but I want the I want the perfect one, man. Yeah. I want I don't I don't I'm not going to I don't want to build it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't I don't have the time. And a lot of people, man, look, I know you guys trip on me cuz I don't build my cars, but dude, I don't got time for that shit. That's how I am too, homie. I don't have time. Man, you I really if, got you, time to drive them. if you got time, <laughs> then congratulations, yeah. man, man. But I, or, or I'm going to say I have no patience. That too. Because I'll call a dude and be like, man, you told me you were going to have it Friday. No and more. it's Tuesday. And I'm like, dude, nah. And to me, a man of your, when you a man of your word, it you a man of your word. Yeah. And I tell my car guys, and you know my car guys, man, they got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes it just that stripe they were doing didn't come out right and they had to redo it. And, you know, uh, the fender didn't come out right or the paint wasn't as clear as thought they was going to get it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I don't have the patience. I'd rather look at your... Keep building those cars, people, yeah, and keep setting them because yeah, I'm yeah. probably going to be that one yeah, out there. Never this by, by yeah, never did by any chance. You know, yeah, I, mean? no, I, I, I totally get it now. I, I don't have time. Like, I, I almost need a chauffeur. I don't got time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? But yeah. people that don't understand that, you know, you need to do it. You need to build it. So, I mean, it is yeah. What it is, you know? But, but, and, and then um, I did get my Wraith. I got, I got a Wraith. Nice. I got this one, the colored in. Yeah. Uh, I had bought this one for my wife, but she got jacked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got jacked real quick. I bought the G Wagon for her. She got jacked real quick. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I bought my daughter a Tesla, and that's what they roll in. You know, they like rolling in their Tesla yeah, yeah. and stuff. But sweet and low key, cause yeah. I like this boy. This bad boy here's nice. I got, I got a little something coming. I got a Phantom coming. What? Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting that today. <laughs> I'll probably send you a picture once. Yeah, yeah, please you know? do, please and, do. And uh, and and I ordered the car. I, I specialize. I, I I built the car on my own. Um, it's a it's a black Phantom mm-hmm. with red interior. So, you know. Okay. A little something. You know, you know, I love that black and that red. Oof. <laughs> I got. I, I try to give me a black wraith with red interior, but it, I got a white wraith with leather, with red leather interior. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah, kind and like the, 59, oh right? yeah, 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 just like yeah, the fifty nine. Yeah, yeah. And then I also got the my my Ferrari was was white with red leather interior as well. Okay. So okay. you know, you know, a little something. But now I was black. I'm going with the black, with the red interior, and I customized it. You know, got the. Got the flying stars. Now they got yeah. the flying stars. This one, you see a star flying in there. Yeah, you really, yeah. yeah, that's some bullshit. You know. <laughs> Shout out to Rose. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me, how many artists, I, I guess, are, are on your label now? Oh, man, we got a lot. We got a huge company, man. Um, we got over 90 artists on our record label. Wow. From all types of different music. We It's not just regional. I got uh, hip-hop. I got Latin pop. I got uh, English pop. I got pop music i got reggaeton i got uh trap i got mexican music i got banda yeah. i got you know mariachi style music yeah, man yeah. i got you know like we, i said we, i don't understand it but i see it I'm yeah like, okay it's coming yeah we got a huge <laughs> label man and you know we still uh you know unfortunately it doesn't work out with that with everyone you know i wish i, I mean, could yeah. make everybody successful and and you know the the biggest artists out there but i, I definitely try yeah, yeah you yeah. know we have the platform for them to, to go in and do it mm-hmm. but um you know, it is is what it is, man. We let some go. We get new ones all the time. So yeah, it's yeah, like we yeah. always shopping, you know. So everybody out there, you know, it's like you have. Uh, don't worry about it. You know, if I don't like your music, there, I'm sure there's other people there's that other don't doors. like it. You know, like, you said, like I said, doors. there's other doors. I don't. It doors. don't have to be with me. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, man. Any, uh, I guess, any artists that they, they get ready to drop something? You know, you want to let the people know. You know, anything that's coming? Yeah, man. We got. Uh, I got some uh, Mexican hip hop artists that's coming in, and and uh, Peso, C and G, uh, you know. Baby Youngin, those are Mexican dudes that are doing trap music, and uh, they they hot in the streets. You know, it's, they hot. They hot on the radio. Talking, I don't yeah. believe in the radio. I don't believe in the TV. Whatever. I don't, that is, to the radio. I don't, I don't know a dude that listens to the TV, to the radio. Yeah. You know, even as soon as I get in, my playlist is popping. The playlist, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 I'm on. Sometimes I go on XM radio. You know. Mm-hmm. Just to hear some bullshit. Yeah, you know, you know bullshit. the older you get, you want to hear more bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I tell my daughter, I said, "Don't worry about it. You'll be there one day. Don't worry about it." 
So, yeah. Um, okay, so you know something I was going to say right now. I can't remember about the artist. What was it? It lost me. Um, and in low riding, you rather your cars that have a, a high lock up or just you know a mediocre lock up? How, how you like your rides? Do you, you know uh, a lot? I, it depends on the ride. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like. It's like a mine. I had a bigger lockup. You know, I had a I had a huge lock, lockup in the in, in the back, and I was like, you know what? I said I wanna I wanna shorten it out because, like I said, it was it's too it's, it has too much power. Yeah. You know, and and I got 16 batteries. I'm only on 14 batteries. You know what I'm saying? I had to I had to lower myself a little bit because I was out there in Van Nuys the other day, man, and I was I was swinging. And I was like, yo, I felt it just, I didn't think it was going to come back down. I was like, whoa, I was up there for a little, and I got no weight in my car. Yeah. You know, it, I, at first it did have a lot of weight. Uh, it, had, it had a lot of steel in it, uh, but now it has no weight in it. So it's all it's power. power. Yeah, wow. it's all power. I have no weight. You could go in there, inspect mm. it. You actually seen it. I don't yeah. mind opening my yeah. trunk, you know. Yeah. Uh, you go in there, I got no weight. Uh, the only weight in there are the batteries and the pumps. Nice. You know? You gotta and set up. You gotta set up how the boys in the streets like it. Yeah, but but you know it's yeah. like a lot of dudes like the high lock lock up. But I I I'm not a huge fan when I'm driving in it right. because I like to have control. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And high lock up is just man, it's a high lock. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. you got to be careful money. with that. You know, you got to be careful with it. Um, another question that I, you know a lot of people like me to ask is, you like five twenties or, or radials? Uh, I like both, but uh, I'm not into five twenties. Okay, yeah, because you, you're more of a driver. Yeah, you're yeah, I drive. like the radials, man. I, I like the. You know, oh, a lot of people ask me, you know, uh, how much hair I put in the, the, the front tires. I like to keep them at 65, 70. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that with no damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but, <laughs> but, but the 520s look smooth, man. Yeah, they look hard. I you see know? you got a bunch of them laying around. Like, yeah, I got, a, I got a bunch of 520s. I got yeah. them on the 67. <laughs> I mean, on the 65. I got 520s on the, on the, on one of the 59s. I got 520s on the other 59. Mm. Uh, that, the one that I have over there put away. Uh, nobody's never seen that 59. Which one? I got one that nobody's never seen it. It's, <laughs> it's locked away in a closet. <laughs> um, it, it has a it has every accessory. Mm. I got a really good deal on it. Uh, I got I and the dude looked for me, you know, and he was like, man, you know, uh, shout outs to to my boy uh, Roger out there in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, mm. um, that called me on this car. Uh, it's a two owner. Um, the old man restored it. Uh, 10 years ago and I got this car and uh, uh, I put five I have you know I put some Danes on it because uh, the dude I bought it from with the, the dude that made the deal happen he had he had some 520 Danes on there and I said man put them on the car I'll buy them from you so he put them on the car and he sent it out here and but that car man is so smooth so clean uh, I bet. it has every NOS accessory on it you know uh, the old man still threw the boxes of the accessories in the car Boxes look brand new. <laughs> he has them in plastic. So, I mean, it was a car that, that uh, you know, a lot of history. Has mm. a book like this on all the services done on it. All the receipts and all the good All stuff? the receipts. Mm. All the... Uh, like that thing, it has the original license plate. Um, and the extra ones, they always send him to switch right, them. And he right, didn't switch right. them. Um, so I got an extra two pairs of that. And um, what else? Um, that car is like... I'll bring it out soon. Oh, I know you will. Yeah, you bring I'll out bring everything. It out. So yeah. I know you will. <laughs> I'll bring it out soon, man. Is it? You know, is it's, it's a car for me to have. I, I want to bring. Honestly, I wanted to bring it out till I set up the museum. Mm -hmm. That's when I wanted to bring it out because I don't think there's a few fifty nines out there. Level air like Caesar, man. He got that fifty eight, and that fifty nine, and that sixty three. That man, and and you know he got really nice cars. But this car is, is is. I'm not gonna say it's the best one because it's not, but it's up there. <laughs> it's, it's one of the tops. I'm, I'm it's sure. up there. Yeah, pretty sure. It's up there. All right, something to uh, kind of kind of get you thinking, man. Uh, what is your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear. Uh, man, you know, when I think about this all the time, not being able to help my friends and family. That's a good one. That's my biggest fear. I swear to you, man. Um, sometimes you know it's like. I'm the I'm I'm the youngest I'm the second to the youngest in my family. It's eight of us, mm -hmm. and I swear to you, dude. If my brother is like if he's sick, I make sure that he gets the right medication, the right doctor. The he's doing good. If my sister's sick, I make sure they're doing that. Same thing. It's like you know, sometimes it's like you can't do too much, yeah. but you know, I I, I get frustrated. Yeah. You know, and uh, and, and you know, I, I like to take care of my people, man, and I like to see my people in. 
people ask me for favors all the time. You know, I can't do every single favor, but right, right, right. You know, I don't, I don't even mind it either. Like, you know, it's a lot of people get bothered. Oh, now that I got money, everybody want to ask me for a favor. You didn't have money back then. I what they want to ask you for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't get mad at them, man. It's just you know they looking for the way out too, and some people just struggling, man. And you know, it's like if you can help a person out, why not? Yeah. You know, to me, I don't see it like that, dog. I swear to you, man. You come in my house and it's your house. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, so you showed us love, man. I was like, okay. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we yeah. Go ahead, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, straight up. I, my my boy, he'll call me and say, hey, let me borrow the Wraith. And, I, you know, go ahead. Take it. Take it for two days. Nice. Hey, I'm coming out on the wedding. Let me borrow one of your cars. Yeah. The only one don't not ask me for is that 64. Man, there's something about that 64. You, you get not. not go. Dude, I get. Uh, man, I, I look at people with drive my shit and put it back. Or like, don't sit in that shit. Or like, and when I lo- when I low ride, I like to go by myself because I don't yeah. like people. Oh man, you know, yeah, no, so like, you, nah, you, get you your ass out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They always you try. You know, they always about to fly out. You yeah. know. I know. No, I was like, yeah, dude, do a video. But I was like, man, I don't know if I'm gonna get in that thing. You know, because dudes come to you and start clowning shit. I put oh, that shit, shit on three wheel real quick. <laughs> okay, so uh, whenever you're out and about rolling solo, what kind of music are you playing, man? Man. I, I I listen to everything, dog. Yeah. I listen to funk. I listen to oldies. I listen to mariachi. I listen to banda. I listen to rap. I listen, whatever. You know what? It's you just open. yeah. It's just my vibe. I, I grab. Right. I swear to you. I grab my phone, connect, and whatever. I just I'll browse through it. Yeah, yeah. And then whatever I feel like listening, or or if not, you know, I wake up in the morning sometimes, and and I just turn my speaker on, and whatever starts playing in my play playlist. Into, yeah. And then sometimes I just leave my house and just continue with whatever I was listening yeah. to in my shower. You know. Cause I'm the dude that I bump music in my my shower, man. I go I go uh, lungs out. You're in there you know I'm too, huh? I'm Bobby D, Mariah Carey, and and Snoop Dogg all at the same time, bro. Yeah. That's dope, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know you always hear it, like rappers always talk about it. You know I I I I pick you know what car I'm gonna drive by what matches my clothes, man. Have you ever found yourself doing that? Uh. Like, you know, I had a blue outfit today. It's gonna be the six four. You know what? I, I always try to match with my car. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I normally yeah. only use a six four. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I'll bring out the 59 here. When I'm with my girl, mm-hmm. you know, I'll, I'll bring out the 59. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she don't like low riding. Oh, okay. Yo, she don't, she so don't like the, the feeling. The yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. her 59. Yeah. Or, she, or she likes to drive it now. Yeah, yeah. And I'll sit in the back. And it feels weird. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It feels really weird. But, I, I, you know, I'll put on a, you know, L.A. hat with red on it or something. Or, yeah. or you know, I'm always with my L.A. or my Amelia hats, man. You know, I'm a huge L.A. fan. Yeah. But, uh, man... Is is yeah? I always match, you know. It's like you know, I got my <laughs> shoes off. I, really, you, you obviously got enough color cars to, to actually do it. So yeah, I, that. I like I like I like to match. I like to match with whatever I'm in. Okay, okay. Um, any shout outs or anything that you want to give anybody? Man, just shout out to uh, everybody out there showing love and support. Uh, hold on, dog, because that's my son. Go ahead, hold we'll on. start over. Hey, Papa. Hey, hey, Papi. Um, I'm going with my friend today. Do you have money? Okay, uh, any, any shout outs or anything you want to give anybody about that? Yeah, man, shout out to everybody that shows love and support, uh, especially to my music, to uh, our record label. Uh, that should show me love in the streets, man. Uh, everybody that always helps out, you know, I don't want to say no names because then I know I'm going to leave somebody out. Oh, of course. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But but shout out to you. You guys know who you are. Yeah. All the love I get from y'all, people that help me for my cars, that help me with my person, with myself, that help me, you know, spiritually, mentally. And physically, you know, doctors out there that look out for us, and you know, True. just people like you that's out here supporting the culture, and 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 you know, just I'm gonna put it out there. I'm not here to destroy any culture. I'm not here to to, to take any position out there from anybody. I'm just out here to want to be a part of you guys, and and, right. and just want to be part of the culture, and I just want to be able to put our culture up to another level, you know, because yeah. Mexican American and and the black community is very close to the low right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 not even saying, you know, the Armenians, you know, like oh, yeah, they're my deep. boys yeah, out they're there, heavy. they deep as fuck, you know, and, and even, every you know, race, Cubans man. and every yep. race out there now is multicultural. Yeah, now it is. You know, and it's like low riding back then, it was either a black or Mexican was doing it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and now it's like multicultural. Multi. You know, I see Lloyd out there in Long Beach, yeah, you know, yeah, low yeah. riding and dude is as white as he can be yeah. but that's my boy Lloyd you know hey, you you know you know what I mean? you yeah, know man. shit big high road over there hey, Armenian dude road. you know it's you know like I mean? so it's like everybody out there man you know it's like uh, I, I don't look at it no cutting lines and low writing and and I appreciate all the love I get out there in the streets and and on my Instagram and everything around it man much love to everybody yeah yeah especially to you man thanks uh, thanks to you for man, putting welcome, the market bro. out there uh people get to <laughs> 
you know, show some some of them people, you know, don't end up selling their cars. You know. You know, but you know, but yeah. they get to put it out. They get to put and it then out. they get scared. They get cold feet. I got cold feet. Yeah. You yeah, know, with yeah, the yeah. with that eighty seven that Albert yeah, build, you know, yeah. that, that that from Elite. Man, I yeah. I was like, ah, dude, I ain't cold feet. Yeah, I got cold yeah. feet. I didn't sell it. Some people they you know, know they want to do it and like, nah, I'm good. I didn't good. sell it. Some of that stuff, you know, they'd be like, it ain't gonna sell and I should sell in a couple minutes. So Yeah. <laughs> and if I buy your car and tell you if you could buy you could buy it back for me when you I'm I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm letting you know right now, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, we good, all right, man. all right. Any questions you think I should ask? I got a question. What up? So, uh, you know, you know, I, I like dogs. So, you know, whenever you're carrying corsos, you know, happen to have babies. How can I acquire one? You know? Oh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one. My man. Yeah, I'm gonna like, give you one. Like, all right. He's gonna talk about for the next week. Put your name on the list. Hey, ask yeah. him if he, if he had any puppies yet. Like, what the? Fuck? The, nah, not yet. Uh, my dog is gonna have puppies <laughs> in about. Uh, well, I think her next period should come around three months. And so, you know, next heat should be in about three months. It just went over. And it was the first one, so we let it pass. But I think Sasha's ready to have some cute babies, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sasha and Bruno. Can't Corsos, man. You can't go wrong with them. <laughs> so, you know, obviously, I see that you're a little open to everything, to pretty much every style of car. Is there any, any you know, any type of, if I'm saying this right, hy hyper style cars uh, that, that you want to own, like Bugattis or anything? You, no, I don't. I don't know about a Bugatti, man. I just think that's too much money. Yeah, yeah, more. It's up there, right? Yeah, I just. I wouldn't <laughs> see myself paying. You know. Uh, you got be scared to drive. Yeah, that you, you know, I, I got. I sat in one, uh -huh. and I was like, "You feel expensive." Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you can't really drive that shit anywhere, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, I like now. to drive my cars. You know, yeah. it's like. It's like my my Wraith has twenty five thousand miles on it. Okay, you, you know, streets. yeah. It's like you know, <laughs> my cars have miles on them. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like I don't buy the car to have it put away. Right, right, right. I don't do that. You know, it's like I think that's throwing your money away. Yeah. You know, I respect a lot of people that do. Again, to each his own. Yeah, yeah everybody's but, a different story. For but me. man, you know, it's like I I did buy an SVJ. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's and Lamborghini, y'all. Lamborghini SVJ. I did buy. I didn't even get to see it. I sold it before it even came to me because. Uh, you know, so a customer went in there at, at the dealer where I bought it and um, and just offered some more money. And he gave an offer I couldn't say no to. It wasn't my sixth fold. So they, it could, it could go. It's the only car that ain't going. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, dude, now. if I told you how much they have offered me for that 64, you know, I got a dude in Japan. His last bid was at 200. Didn't and, somebody message you on Instagram? And I think you had put up a long time ago. They offered you something, and you, and you gave yeah. them the price, and they got upset. Oh yeah, yeah. He was like, "Man, I, I, don't, I don't remember the price." But dude, I was like, "Then don't ask me because, right, because it wasn't for sale." Yeah, it's not. And I told him it's not for sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he was like, "Well, I want to buy it." I said, "All right, it's this much." Yeah. And I, I remember that time. I I think I told him one seventy five or something, yeah. or one fifty. But the cars were nowhere near that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and he was, was like, "Oh, are you crazy?" But dude, dude called me the other day, and he calls me with a. With a with a dude that I know and and he translates everything and he's like they start talking on the phone and I'm like man what do he say and he's like <laughs> and um <laughs> and, and and honestly dude I I'm not a big believer and you know no disrespect to no one again mm -hmm. I'm not a big believer in selling cars overseas okay. you know I think we should keep these cars in America I, I see that a lot on, on my messages but go, go ahead yeah I think we should keep them in America um, there's a car out in Canada right now mm -hmm. a '58 the pink one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the, I'm trying to make a deal happen with him. You trying to bring it to the yeah, U.S. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it back to the U.S. He's like, I'm ready to send it to the U.S. <laughs> but it, it's, it's not a Canadian car. I thought it was a Canadian, but it's a it's a. It was a U.S. Car? It was a U.S. car. Oh really? Yeah, I, okay. I didn't know. Um, it was a U.S. car, and um, it's a really good car. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I just I just think I, I think they should stay in the U.S. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not being. You know, I'm not being bias racist or, or biased yeah, or anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think, you know, we should keep these cars here in our, in our culture, you yeah. know, because a lot of people came out from out there in, in Japan and stuff like that. And they took a lot of cars out there. They took a lot. You know, I seen people sell cars out there. I remember they would show it off because they were like, man, they were happy. you know, hey, they came over here and gave me 60,000 for yeah. my convertible 61, yeah. you know, and it was back like, yeah, when those cars were 28, 29,000, yeah, yeah, you know, 25, yeah. you know, you would get lucky. Hard top. I remember I almost bought Easy E's. Um, I think it was a, it wasn't a 64. I think it was a 62, 63. Yeah, the, the baby blue one. one? Oh, the baby blue. Is it green one or baby it's blue? Green is a 63. That's, that's it wasn't green. a convertible. It was a hard, hard top. top. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I almost bought it. Uh, Rick Rock had it. Yep. Rick Rock had yep. it. And I remember he told me, uh, uh, they selling the car and it was only 11,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, I only got 9,000. Damn. And I was like, I'll be able to get the 9,000, but I regret it. By the way, 
uh, my neighbor is a uh, is a uh, Easy E's mom. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. So so I get to oh, see little E all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I see little E all the time and you know, Fourth of July and yeah. and uh all you know, all the holidays I get to see him and, and uh he he's used my cars to like, you know, use for his video and stuff like that and pictures and and I tell him, I told him, man, I almost bought your car one day. And I said, man, I wish I would have bought it. Because if I would have bought it, I would have probably let him have it. Yeah, damn, that's love. You know, I would have probably let him have it. But I wonder if he's trying to ever get it back. I wonder who has that car. Uh, I, I almost want to say, no, nah, I don't even get the same names on camera. They're going to be like, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I think I know who has it. But, yeah, I, I, I've been there before. So, yeah, I remember when I tried to buy Rap, rap with Envy. Oh. When it came out of nowhere, man, I've, I've always wanted that truck, but. Somebody you know, to the punch like, you know it, was, it wasn't a lot when they sold it. I was like, what? Well, I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it was probably a lot at that time. Yeah, I think it was like 10, 10, 12,000, yeah. something crazy, man. You well, I, get that now. I did. I, I was bidding for uh, for uh, Kobe's car. Ooh. But then when oh, I found I out, you hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when I found out it wasn't his car, it was never his car. He never drove it. He never even, I don't think he ever even seen the car. Oh, they yeah. Name. What, I, I, customs, I think, built that Yeah, name? they built it. And, and I remember uh, uh, one of my boys um he knew the, he knows the family pretty good and um and i and i called him and i said hey can you i know this ain't time but can you find out if he ever sat in the car or, or did like, he was ever it really his. was it really his right now i'm not i'm not i'm not this is what i was told yeah now the if the, the other story if the real story is another story then let it let that, let, be. Let that be but from my information i backed off when i found out it was in his car mm. so um I don't, I don't think I've ever seen pictures or anything with him. Like, I did see him in the one that Snoop gave him. Yeah, the yellow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah. buy that one. <laughs> you know, if, if it ever is up for sale, hit me up. Yes. You know, I'll buy that one. The estate, they, they still have that Pontiac, right? Yeah, they, I, okay. I think they still have it. I, yeah, I've never yeah, asked. That, that, that is true. That 63, I've never seen him, like, pictures of him in it or anything. Yeah, and then the, the, i seen another one that was uh, uh, Shaq's car. Shaq. Um, Shaq got so many cars out here, boy. I don't yeah, know, yeah. Like, I don't even think he know that. Look, if the seat is far back, it was really his. But, that's the, how, but, but the seat wasn't far back. Oh, see, I did it. question that. <laughs> I said, is the seat go all the way back? Uh, no. All right, thanks. Nah, oh, know, that ain't Shaq. Ain't Shaq. He bought it to get ready to customize yeah. it and never touched it. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I got a couple of celebrity cars. You yeah. know, I, I got like like Mike Epps. You know, Mike Epps yeah. sat in his car. Mm -hmm. He rode that car. So I was like, Most I got to buy it. You know, one day I told Snoop, I'm going to have to get him on a headlock and get one of his cars. Good Snoop, luck. I know you there, dog. Yeah, I know I'm gonna take it. You, there's one in there that you can give to your boy Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's something else uh, I gotta hit too. Is Mike? Yes, man, he hits me up every night. Man, there. Mike is a good I mean, dude. Because I know man. he got some cars over there. Is he man, you you gotta you gotta see that BMW he has. The white the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, man, I've been yeah. in it. Uh, dude, he got a Walkman in there. He got a tape player. Oh, he did yeah. a straight throwback. Yeah, he was oh, playing like, Radio and Joe Cooley. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what made Snoop go get his. Yeah, yeah, dude, you know it's like I, I looked at these cars and I, and I appreciate their cars, but I can't I can't buy that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I buy what I like. I yeah, buy yeah. what I can play with, and I'm actually on a GNX right now. Uh, yeah, I'm actually about to go see one after this. Okay, you should uh, let me know. Cause you know I know a couple people with them. Yeah, shit. Sure, well, <laughs> hey, well, I'm, I'm you know my ears are open. <laughs> let um, me know. I, I actually got to buy it for my brother. Mm, okay. uh, I sold one of his cars by accident. Oh, so, <laughs> oh. And I told him I'm gonna get you in a car, and I said, "What do you want?" And, and we went out of Pomona, okay. and I almost bought a Camaro. Mm. And I said, "Do you really want it?" He said, "Uh, yeah." I said, "No, you don't." I said, "I'm, I'm we gonna keep shopping, you know." And I almost bought a Monte Carlo, and and uh, there was a guy that had a Grand National, mm. and then um, I was like, uh, I, I I looked at the car it was so beautiful, and then I found out it was a year I wasn't looking for. Mm. I was like, oh. Man, that was heartbreaking, but it but like but man, you know I'm after a GNX right now. I'm after a Grand National and and uh, and, and oh, you know what I am looking for? And I seen somebody posted one on yours, a Bronco. Oh yeah, dog wanted one too. Yeah, I want a Bronco. <laughs> I want a Bronco. Yeah, I think I posted one yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I actually I I was I was like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go see it. I'm it would be it out. hard. It would be hard. Yeah, but I am gonna sell a couple of cars. Okay, okay. I'm gonna sell a couple. I know I want to <laughs> sell them, but some more. yeah, I I, I want to get rid of one, and I'm gonna tell you why. I want to get rid of Katrin, the 63. Uh -huh. And that car um, has everything brand new on it. All yeah. the chromes. Um, they're, 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 uh, all the chromes, all the rear ends, all the arms, all the uh, sh trailing arms, the rims. Uh, a lot of stuff is brand new. Yeah. You know? and, and all the side moldings, all the, 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 the chromes that I switched off, they're all NOS too. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't just put 
yeah, any chrome on there, you know? Yeah. yeah, I put a couple of things that I couldn't find in OS aftermarket, but I mean, they, y'all, you want to change it, y'all could change it when y'all right, buy it. Right, yeah, but the reason I want to sell it is because I want somebody to appreciate that car. Yeah. That car is so beautiful, man. It is. It is nice. Oh, man, it's a beautiful car. Uh, the car, the paint job on it is immaculate. Mm -hmm. It has an LS in it. It's just... Engraved. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> engraved that LS. And I just want somebody to appreciate that car. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, I, I can't appreciate that car like I thought I was going to. That's but great. when I see it and I see it that it's just sitting there, I don't like it that. It hurts. Hey, yeah, yeah. I don't I like that, that man. Too. Especially when I got something that's got to sit outside. I'm like, damn, man, let me just let somebody else get it. Yeah, yeah. I know I, that feeling, man. Yeah, somebody else got to pick that car up. Somebody yeah. else got to get it. Well, shoot, man, I'm gonna hold you up all day. We've been here all day, man. I just man, wanna say, cool. you know, thank you for letting me come out again, man. Thank you for always showing me love. Man, I appreciate love you, man. I appreciate, appreciate you. Keep you, that up. Keep that up, cause I know I know we're gonna keep looking in there and keep buying some more cars. <laughs> sure, sure Y'all stop me. putting those I rock convertibles. I don't want one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> man, <laughs> man, you see how much they are? Yeah, everything I'm, is up. Man, no? I'm happy. I'm happy. Get Every, your money. Everything is up. Get your money through Cali boy. <laughs> you know? I got, you know, I got my son saying that sometimes. Cali boy. Cali <laughs> <laughs> boy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. They don't know they call me raw sneeze. Back in this bitch. Like the spine and we cracking this bitch. What's up, y'all? I finally got that merch. Make sure you go online and shop now at adaywithkellyboy.bigcartel.com. I got sizes from medium all the way to 5XL. Make sure you put your size and your color of your sticker in the comments. Go shop now while supplies last.